Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gears Pro League. I'm Blaze, joined with the fantastic Jacob PR, and we are about to enter our final day of yep. the league. It's going to be super exciting. Jacob, are you ready? Yeah, no, I'm ready. I've been preparing for this week, and, and honestly, though, uh, I had a few days off. I switched days with, I do believe, Taylor to have yeah. a little bit of extra time to, to get my predictions for this day because this was the hardest one to predict by far. Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, it's been a while since we got a chance to cast, but I'm excited for us to be able to cast today. Now, let's actually go take a look at our results from day number nine and get you guys up to date because uh, me and Taylor, bro, we had some crazy games, okay? Well, you know what? Let me say this. It wasn't nothing too wild, but it was some exciting series, right? Noble and Elevate got off to a great start. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you saw Fire Knights almost have the Pittsburgh Knights down 0-2 in that series, and that was wild to see. Um, also, you know, Oxygen was able to take a map off of Pioneers. Yeah, but uh, overall, I, I think it kind of swayed in the elite style teams, the teams that are kind of reaching the top of the standings overall when it comes to the head to head competition. Because you saw towards the beginning of the season, the Pioneers, they looked at a little slow. Pittsburgh Knights, they looked a little inconsistent. Even E United was having trouble finding themselves. But this late into the season, the second to last day, and even today, the last day, this is where teams are going to push to make the last second matchups come in their favor for that extra bit of money in their pocket all right now looking at our standings overall as we enter this last day of the pro league rise has just been relaxing at the top of the of the standings with noble mm -hmm. right behind them so it's been great to watch those two teams play uh you know throughout the league and you know rise got off to a hot start and they were able to uh keep it throughout most of it yeah what's right, out to you jacob well, I, I like that Rise is going to be able to control their own destiny because they have the head-to-head -head matchup. But overall, there are so many different possibilities. E United is in a very important battle tonight. The Pioneers have a very important battle tonight, which can change the placings between them two. Rebel, I think, has secured maybe that top five finish, barring any miracles. Uh, but I, I think our top five are secured. So nothing too much standing out to me. Uh, I have a couple question marks over the Pittsburgh Knights, but I think a lot of people at home watching their season go on watching their journey the inconsistencies unfold have question marks of their own yeah they definitely are going to have some question marks indeed and uh you know we'll see if those question marks can be answered by the time the major comes around now um you know throughout the season you know we've been asking each other questions all right mm -hmm. questions on who is going to come out on top and who are going to win these matches so uh i do believe as we take a look at these cast predictions that you have been relaxing on the top of the feed for a hot minute as uh, the rest of the crew is just, you know, one shy behind you, you know, how does it feel to be up there? I mean, it feels good. I mean, I'm already back to back. I pulled out the chain last week. Maybe I'll pull it out this week if my predictions are going my way. But but overall, I, you got you got to give it up to the teams. Is this season or this split around was a lot closer than I would have hoped. And and this week, uh, like a lot of these teams are battling out for thousands of dollars. We are too in the prediction standings. Yeah, man. You know. This split right here, one of the closest we've had in a long time, and you've heard me say that, you know, I think we got the five best LATAM and the five best North mm -hmm. American teams who have been going at it. And uh, it shows in the standings. You know, we have never had a season that has been this close across the board, especially, I want to say, within that top eight. All right. So that's been great to see. Now, let's get you guys updated on the schedule for today and what you're going to be watching. Kicking it off, it's going to be Rebel versus Rise is our first matchup of the day. I'm super excited to watch that one, followed by Pioneers versus the Pittsburgh Knights. And then finally, E United versus Noble. That's definitely going to be a banger, Jacob. Yeah, not only is this for thousands of dollars on the line throughout each and every one of these placings that we talked about, these are like the top six teams kind of in front of us. The Pittsburgh Knights is going to have a real test, a real opportunity to get a little bit more practice underneath their belt to figure out where they stand in terms of these elite teams that we have in front of us. But we have some side station games going on. It's not all about what is in front of us. We have Fire and Ice versus Oxygen Esports. Fire and Ice has been making noise late into this season and is better late than never i always say yeah better late than never indeed um you know they got a chance to play with jacks yesterday i feel like they were able to you know kind of just relax get loose you know they didn't have their full roster and they almost made some big upsets as well it was great to see um it was it was great to watch indeed but yeah they got a good matchup against oxygen and uh we'll see if we can tune into that one towards the mid portion of the day after we get done with our second matchup 
But as we shift gears and we start focus, focusing on our first matchup, it's Rise versus Rebel. And uh, man, you know, we got a chance to, uh, you know, Rise, you know, they put a stomping on a few teams yesterday, yep. but, you know, Rebel had a close series. Jacob, what are you expecting to get out of this one? I'm expecting a, a pay-per-view style matchup. Rebel versus Rise. You got kind of that duo between summons and identives emerging time and time again in each one of these matchups. They have shown a little inconsistencies, a little kind of bumps into the road and Rise. They're no strangers to that as well. That big loss, that 7-1 and one record, that was a massive loss to the Pioneers. They were a shell of themselves and they got toppled over easily. I think Rise is going to be looking for revenge this time around. Yeah, they absolutely got beat down in that series for mm -hmm. real. But, hey, we'll see if they can bounce back when it absolutely matters. But they got to get through Rebel first. And let's break down this roster as we look at this team that's going to be comprised of Identus, Crack, Demon, and Summons. You know, these guys, I always say, they got the, the, the pieces of the puzzle, right? You know, yep. but what do they need to do if they want to win a major? Honestly, they just need to pull it together and make sure that they're on the same page. Each and every one of these players has an immense amount of individual talent. You see it from Demon, you see it from Crack, and you see these duo one-two punch combos between identities and summons that I'm talking about, and they all possess great ideas and the ability to take over these games, but they need to do it as a team. They need to do it as a squad of four. So if somebody needs to take a step back play that support role somebody needs to know that in their role and they need to step up in a sense you know what i'm saying take a step back and play that support role it, depending on what map it is depending on the occasion who has the hot hand at the time i think rebel just as long as they do that they can beat almost every one of these teams in the league boy you gotta you gotta be selfless <laughs> okay and not everybody yep. can be the superstar so you're gonna have to understand as jacob said your position when you gotta take a step back and just be a team player and support the squad now, let's go move on over towards Rise as we break down this team of Rushies, of Vexies, Detox, and Icy. You know, they stayed together from the last season and they came into this one the best, the best that we've seen, yep. right? And, you know, and they were very vocal about, hey, you know, we didn't practice as much as we used to. You know, do you, well, you know, what do you think is the key to the squad's success so far? Honestly, I think they need to be very, very similar towards Rebel. They have an immense amount of talent. They just cannot force it in these big situations. And one of those losses, or I should say the only loss this season against the Pioneers, not only were they losing those individual battles and losing the team fights, they were forcing time and time again, especially on control, especially on escalation. When you're trying to fit the pieces into the puzzle and they don't, you're going to get a picture that isn't exactly what you hoped it would be. And if they continue to stray away from their game plan time and time again. They have that aspect that I think is going to be easier than a lot of these other top teams to get picked apart one after the next after the next. Some of these players are known to get into their own heads as well. So for Rise, I think one of the biggest things is not only have that uh, endurance when it comes to being in game, but yeah. that mental endurance as well. Oh, got to have that stamina. They cannot be their own worst enemy. All right. So Rise, who are they going to be relying on to be able to be an IGO, to be a leader, mm -hmm. to keep yep. them cool, calm, and collected? Well, it's going to be our player to watch of Vexies. You know, he is the longest standing Rise Nation member in Gears Esports, and rightfully so. Um, you know, you can kind of see it in his numbers, you know, top six when it comes down to damage per respawn. But, you know, I will say this, that one thing that the numbers won't show is how much of a selfless player this boy is right here, because he'll do whatever he needs to for the squad them to get a victory. Yeah, whether it's being aggressive, the first one in with the shotgun, that power weapon player, along with detox, they can kind of handle all of that exchange or kind of sit back, relax, like I'm saying, take a step back down that Rebel needs to do. And Vexies does that for his squad. My only worry overall for them is Vexies is young. He's still a young guy to where what I'm talking about when they go in individually, yeah. are they going to really listen to him? Does he have mm. the experience enough? He has a ton of experience, but does he have enough experience to command that from his team? Because you also got to realize he has championship players to his left and to his right with both Rushies and Icy. So they have to all be able to fall in line, play into their roles. And that's something big that Avexis is going to have to command from his team. Yeah, he definitely is. And, you know, when it comes down to the, to the championship players, you know, he got around them. You know, that's Rushies and Icy. And, mm -hmm. you know, Rushies has always been a great soldier. You put the, the, the call outs out there, he'll make something happen. And, you know, Icy, he's been around the block more times than not, okay? He got the rings to show for it. So, um, you know, if Vexies and Icy, they can get on the same page and, 
you know, they can help, you know, call, make the in-game calls for the squad. Yeah. They'll get it done. Because I agree with you. They just need not be their own worst enemy. And just make sure the vibes is right. And they stay focused. And they take things one map at a time. So, as we start to break down this map cycle for the series of Rise versus Rebel, you know, one thing is, I'm going to be curious to see is what control maps we'll have in here. Um, the executions that's going to end up falling. Because, you know, I feel like, you know, Rise, they top three execution team we got. Okay, out of yeah. the 10, you know, no matter what that execution map is going to be dropped down, they will find a way um, to, to, to just get rounds, okay? Rather if it's Detox or, or Rushy or Detox or Icy's picking up a first blood, mm -hmm. you know, uh, this team, they, they know how to get it done in some execution. So, as we're going to see the cycle, map number one, Reactor Control, followed by Canals Execution. Then we got Harbor Escalation, Regency Control, and then Checkout Execution. Jacob, anything stands out to you? I mean, I'm surprised really that I'm not seeing district control into this mix so far. But after looking at it, I, I think Rebel, they heavily favor reactor control. It's a very, very close quarters uh, where you can hold on to a certain positioning, holding on to the high ground. I think Rise does like canals overall. Harbor kind of going into the mix surprises me. A lot of teams have been favoring Baskar, but before they favored Baskar, it has been that map harbor that a lot of teams went into. Overall, I think Rebel, their terms of success they have to win that escalation map number three and then they have to come out with obviously a victory on execution or control but i think in order for rebel to take the series it is going to be in that escalation yeah it really has to be because when i look at the three maps in the middle of this series i'm leaning in favor towards rise the canals the regency controls the harbor escalation i feel like three these three maps are going to be super comfortable on so Rebel, they have to come out here and get this reactor control and get off to a nice start in this series. That way they can have they can have that peace of mind of picking up that canal's execution or that harbor escalation. Yeah. And so we'll yeah. we'll see if they can get it done. But hey, as a as a whole, it's a beautiful cycle that we got for these guys. All right. Now let's talk about our predictions. And um, you know, when it comes down to it, Jacob, I will go first. And so with yeah. these two teams, you know, I feel like you know, Rebel, as of late, I, I love how how better, how much better this squad has been playing. Um, you know, they've looked good, but on the flip end, I just think that this Rise team that has been a roster since last season, <laughs> and as we get closer to the major, this is what they've been waiting for. They've been waiting to get closer to this event. They've been outperforming squads in the Pro League. You know, they've had some so-so E days out there. But more importantly, when the check's about to be on the line, I'm expecting Rise to perform, and it's, with, it's within these two weeks, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to have to lean in favor of Rise to take down Rebel. Yeah. Um, I think that they're going to want it more than more to death. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a good prediction there, Blaze. Uh, and on one hand, you got Rebel, a team, like I said, that's emerging. They have four different Latin American stars. Mm -hmm. They have Summons, who's won championships in NA as well as Identives. They have been piecing it together, and they're looking like they could be a scary team if they catch fire, but that's where I say if they catch fire. Yeah. Rise, on the other hand, they started the season hot. Their only loss comes at what I think is a combination of the Pioneers catching fire at the right time and Rise yeah. being a shell of themselves. And I think that that's the fluke victory. And I think Rise is going to prove that was a fluke victory. And he already popped up on screen. Rise is going to take this series overall against Rebel. But I do think it could be a close one if they agree with you. If they Rebel wins map number one, steals away map number two, we can see a five-map series. All right. Me and Jacob are going with Rise for this one. But chat, how are you guys feeling? Because last night, you went with Rebel <laughs> in that series, all right? By, it was only 1,000 channel points. But for today... Are you going with them or are you going with Rise? Mm. Nope. You're going with Rise. Okay, chat. Y'all align with it is us. what it you is. Know? It was something that, that they must have liked that they seen um, in that Rebel matchup yesterday that they played. But, you know, regardless, you know, Rebel as an underdog, it's a position in which they've been in before. And, you know, players like Identives and Summons and Demons and Crack, they don't mind being there. They, they love proving people wrong. So now is another opportunity for them to come out and get another big victory. Yep. That's true. All right. That's going to that's gonna be a big opportunity for them because I think you, you're talking about being that underdog. That does alleviate the mm -hmm. pressure to where they might not have to force these situations. So if a rise for a, a team in their side of the corner, I think they're going to have to come out hot. I think it's going to have to show that yesterday or, or last week even was a little bit of a fluke for Rebel. It's about piecing it together, that teamwork and showing that consistency is there. 
and you know for rebel as far as them moving up in the standings i don't think that they have too many um different um i don't think they got too many placings in which they can move up so but for them in the back of their mind i'm pretty sure they'll love to give rise another loss take them off that top spot maybe you know give give their uh Latium brothers and noble a little bit extra help to push them up there towards <laughs> the top of the standings we'll see we'll see how they're feeling folks we're about to hop into map number one. It's Reactor Control, Rise versus Rebel in our last day of the Pro League. We hope you all are having a fantastic time at home on this awesome hump day. As uh, these Gears of War players, they're about to get over this hump and um, start fragging out, put on a show for us. I'm just trying to see like the matchups right now. Rise can Rise can definitely lose control of their destiny with a loss here to Rebel. So even though I don't think Rebel, I, I agree with you, don't move up any placings here because I think United does have the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I could they be do. wrong there. Um, but they could take away money out of Rise's pocket and put it directly into their Latin American brothers over on the side of Noble. So this could be something for them to look forward to well, along with padding up the confidence right into that major. But this match is definitely underway. You see the split strategies right out of the gate. Rise, three players over. They're trying to stack the hill. They send their lone player of Avexis to try to guard that fire weapon. He's going to go down early. All the weapons going over to Rebel except for those frag grenades. So they have to be sure to win this south portion of the map. Uh, we'll see if they can get it done. Identis with the bow in hand. Looking for a body shot. Not going to be able to get one, but he wants to check his flank. He doesn't know where that player out the respawn cave. We see it's going to be player number four on the ramp. He will finally find him. But Identis looking to connect, but he's not going to be able to make anything happen. As you will see, his teammates, they will find the kills in the hill. Icy picking up a nade kill. But ultimately, you guys, Rebel, they will have control as they clean up the rest of the Rise members and um, start anchoring down for the rest of these uh, this last 30 seconds. Yeah, and with uh, that many time on the hill, you got to take in fact that they're going to rotate off and you see Rise already setting up for the next, but this is where you got to give it up to Rebel. They're making sure to attack from that high ground angle. You don't want to attack down going up because even if you're going to contest the hill, you have to go and show at least a portion of your body to where you are going to take an immense amount of damage. So. Even though this hill is going to move in about eight seconds, Rebel attacking sooner rather than later is going to give him more opportunities. Crack's going to go down first. Demon gets that quick revive to come through. Rushy's getting pushed, but a team kill. A team kill as Identive takes out Crack. Demon's trying to even up the trade, but I think the damage is definitely being done for now. But somehow, some way, Icy's backed up into a corner by himself. He's going to fall. So that leaves Avexis by himself as well. All right, and Avexis will fall as well. So, 70 points on the heel, Rebel. Will be able to work together as a unit through that cog spawn side to be able to get to this hill and set up. And you know, the revives was absolutely crucial and them making it there. I didn't think they were gonna get there after that first down came through, but rebels stay composed. They're gonna find two kills, maybe even a third. Well, the third is confirmed. They don't know where player number four is just yet, as the Vexies will find one. Nice flash against summons. The stun is there. Abex, he's two good shots. The third comes in to clean up. Now he's back in the mix. He needs some help, a possible revive, but he can't get it done. Actually, he does. He trades with identives. <laughs> Ooh, and Rushy gets that splash damage with the Torque, but 30 seconds left on the hill. So you're going to see very, very similar to what Ryze tried to do before, but we're unsuccessful. What Rebel's going to try to do here. They want to rotate towards that next hill first. There's not a love time on that hill. They're going to try to set up for this positioning, but Ryze looks like they're going to do something a little bit different there from Rebel. Rebel waited for that hill to rotate before they tried to attack. It does look like they're going to try to find a player, take them off first before that hill rotates. There's going to be about 10 seconds. 10 seconds is a good amount of time to where they, if they attack, and fail they not really losing any footing just yet that was a huge kill detox just picked up he was in between four members of rebel just being able to stay alive and take one to the grave gave his teammates all the opportunity to be able to move in and get set up on his heel but with it being a current 3v3 on the map rise they gotta dodge these nades crack won't connect but he has one more to utilize i think maybe not but he's gonna move in with the shoddy Misses a, good, uh, a great opportunity, goes down, and here comes Rise bullying, and Crack pulls it out at the last second, takes down four, 2v2 fight for control, as Summons hits two, three <laughs> solid shots. That 
That was some great movement by summons. It almost makes up for the fact that Crack could have better usage of those frag grenades. It wasn't enough to get those two eliminations, even if your teammate was dead to right. Some of the things I look at is effectiveness. How you really utilize the power weapons when you are in your control. So for Crack, you, you escaped. You you got saved now escaped, by summons. Yeah. Yep. So now it's a setup coming through. You see 13 seconds on the shot grenade. You see Torque Boat coming up as well. So this is where Rise has to make that conscientious decision. You attack now, giving up the power weapons, or do you wait for the power weapons to go for next? And you know, they're going to be playing this map in a 2-2. Still 50 points of time left on his heel. Demon will be able to get it down on Icy. It's going to be left to Detox as he falls. 20 seconds on a heel. It is actually not even worth fighting no more. I think player two will back up and get the power weapon. Yeah, I see he's going to get the bow. But what I did is in front of him. He misses the shot. Oh, no. Wow, that's a rare sight. Yeah, Ident is making that one look easy. And Rebel oh, doubled up on the scoreline from Rise. They get that shot grenade. They know the Torque Bow's out of play. Frag grenades are, should be coming up here shortly as well as the Vexies get spotted out over the top from Ident, who's holding that top middle position. Even though he may not be able to damage every single player, he's going to get a lot of information as he's getting pushed by a Vexies. Shot grenade going out. Reaction shot trying to get that damage. The Vexies reunites with one of his teammates. The angle's going over to Ident as he's putting that shot off. On. Two players are going to drop. That's Icy. And if Xyz gets taken out, Demon's going to fall. Both of the last oh, two remaining nice. members of Rise tried to push Identives again. They're going to get staggered out. And that doubled up scoreline will get even bigger for Rebel. Big plays from Identives. He was able to take out the Torque Bow player and then immediately rotated towards mid and got his team um, an anchor there and some call outs and was able to get some great shots in on Rise, but he has to do it again. That's a free kill on Rush. He's, he's actually going to reset. Not much detox can do behind the cover as Identis will still find some angles. Someone's with movement yet again. Rebel has definitely woken up here to play. And I thought Rise was going to prove today that that Pioneers matchup, an elite team matchup versus Rise, was a little bit of a fluke. But right now, they're falling into that trap. They're getting individual. They're losing these big fights. And I think it's affecting their mental game. That's going to be a big pickup, though, for Rushies. Not only to save a teammate, but stay alive. That hill is going to be towards the top portion of the map. And that's where Rebel has full control. They're sandwiching the players now. Avexi's the first one out. Detox is going to get dropped. It's the last two now. Rush oh, and no. Icy. Make it one. Make it none as Summons finishes that one off and they get every single player rise and send them to the grave. Beautiful, beautiful teamwork there for coming out from Rebel and nice plays from Summons to be able to you know, get damage in on all three of those players and, and get those kills. So Rebel, off the back of those kills, they will have the setup in which they want. They're going to have the high side of this uh, bottom right hill. So that means their rise, they're going to have to move up to them. It's going to make that, that play even harder. Now Summons with the bow almost shot his teammate there. He needs to revive on Demon. Misses the blind fire. He's going to take a lot of damage. And his team is just falling all around him. He's going to need a good shot. There's one. No more left in the chamber. He needs to hold his ground. He's going to have some help. Both these members of Rebel needs to, need to stay alive in this moment if they want to have a chance to get him back into this hill. And they do that. Rise is getting this fight turned on him for a second, but will they recover? I think they will, Jacob. Crack's gonna get out. And yeah, he's he, he, he's gonna barely get out, okay? Rise, barely. great retake from now. You know, Icy, 8,000 damage. Vex, he's 9,000 to his name, but you know, Summons, whoo! He saw y'all talking about him in the chat yesterday. I'm calling everybody out, okay? Mm -hmm. He says, okay, bet. Y'all say, drop me? Well, let me show you I something. Think. Someone's one of the championship players on this squad. And he's won a few of those championships through a few different titles as well. So he's no stranger uh, sort of criticism when the team's not performing well. But I think he's going to be a big backbone and a big part of their successful ways in the consistency that they've been able to build on over 100 plus points and counting. This is Rise chance. They have to break through here. First down elimination coming through. Chain revives to Rise. They have to go ahead and wolf pack together. They need to make sure that they're on the same page. Don't force their way through. Avexi goes down. He's only going to be bait though as detox gets it down of their own they clean up that elimination onto crack so for rebel they have the two different angles demon needs to be able to capitalize here summons gets one identives gets another demon is still onto that flank and he has some help with crack as well this could be fatal for rise i did this with a great spread he's able to find the kill i see one v two can't win it but he got two teammates spotting towards the top portion of the map 
They're going to have to be as, you know, quick in this situation. 35 seconds left. If they don't want this, hold their, hold their ground. Let their teammates rotate towards next. But I think player seven's already going to be set up. He's under siege right now. Almost taking himself out with the torque bow. Crack gets the frags, though. Revives coming through. Avexis gets caught slipping. Identives and summons both oh. fall, though. Demon gets another one. He's sneaking around, finding these eliminations, but Rushies catches him at the tail end. At the tail end of this hill as well as where Rise finds the success. And that's been the thing. I think throughout the last three, maybe even four hills, their time is coming at the end where Rebel, even if they get eliminated, they're getting that outward spawn. They're able to attack the next hill rather quickly as this one is going to go back towards the start. You see two players on the south portion of your minimap already set up there. The sandwich, because of the staggered death from Rise, is going to have an opportunity to come through. They need to be successful, though. Crack has the nades. And he's going to play his life. He's going to be able to win that fight, but he needs to stay alive. Hasn't been able to use those two frags just yet. Waiting for the right opportunity. But he's been having to hang out on this side of the map. We see he used one. He's going to separate one player on the right, get into the fight on his left, but not going to be successful just yet. The damage is there. The down comes through. He needs a little bit of extra help, but Rise will survive that onslaught. Now, can they get the kills at neutral? They will have three players at the heel. With that uh, kill on crack, they'll be okay to collect up some time for a bit as Rebel gets, gets their numbers. Well, <laughs> Rebel's going to even out the numbers quicker than I thought. Detox is trying to hold on to an angle there to allow some help, but... Avexis gets snuck. Detox sees the numbers in front of him. He's getting crossed from the side as well. This is not looking good. He's going to get taken out. You see Avexis that spawn towards the backside. He's trying to hold the line. I see and rush. He's directly into the hill, scoring these points. That is going to be contested here. 3v2 for Rise, but a flank is coming through. This is Summons. We've seen him be a deadly force before. Ooh. He gets one. He gets turned on, though. That's Avexis taking him out, but the damage, I think, has been done. Players, the confusion is in. Rise scrambling around, but big shots from I he cannot finish off one though. Both of them going for the revive. A big shot again. Identives oh. crack. They're working together oh. very, very well and finish off those eliminations on the hill. It seems like Rebel cannot be stopped here. Yeah, that's what it seemed like as Rebel had a fantastic fight. Download that neutral, but six seconds left. Detox will find two bowls on the ground. Misses his shot on crack, but the active is there. Looking for summons to splash damage, the spread, the second shot and third shot missed. He goes down. Icy gets the revive. Detox back in a fight. Some long range support fire coming in from a Vex. He's as well. <laughs> but the triple kill for Identis connects with the nade. Big plays there. Now a Vexi, he has to be careful. Yeah, he threw that one from downtown to get that triple kill, but that was that started with Detox trying to force that play, and that's what I'm saying right now. Rise, they force a lot of these situations. They feel desperate even when they don't have to. It's only 80 points. That's one great hill hold, and they're right back into this game, but they just have to make sure they have the conscientious decisions to play calm, cool, and collected. They have the eliminations in their favor. The numbers advantage. The sandwich onto one. They get flanked, though. And can they finish off these eliminations? Great melee coming through from Detox. That's one. Avexis finishes him off. He gets the melee to finish off number two. The hold is in. They should get at least 15 seconds more. So this next hill, this next rotation is going to be big. If Rebel can get the wipe, the game is theirs. If Rise can get the wipe, we will continue on. I feel like Rebel is really slow to this rotation. Um, especially, you know, my question is, is that... Oh, they're waiting for the bow. Okay. That's why they still got two on the top eight of the map. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why they haven't shifted uh -oh. down just yet. Debated. Player two and eight. Player four rotating as well. Oh, they're I going for him. But is he? Oh, did he? Or what was he? Or did <laughs> Demon get baited? Avexis comes in to clean up his dare to revive. That's going to be a flash on top of the bow, but it's picked up. All while this is happening, Rise is getting points. So, Rebel, they need to react quick before Vexis gets behind them fun. with the bow on the flank. But I don't think Rebel could do much about it. They're in a desperate situation. Beautiful blind fire. A quick reload and active. He's looking for splash damage. He will get it, but now as he moves up, one player behind him looking for the contest. Can't get it, but he will play his life. I love this aggression, but... He's going to have some help now. 
Yep, they have the high ground. This is good. And that, that elimination on Demon really bit them in the behind. He was the one that got the flank that started this whole confusion on the rush. Jeez, and Vexies gets the team down on the icy. He's quickly revived back up. Identives is hiding like a cobra in the grass, waiting to strike. The revives are there, Wait. though. But no elimination. No There's no kills being cleaved up. Finally, Rise has seen those up, but it's been contested long enough to where the show must go on. Rise needs to play perfect here because it's only 11 seconds for Rebel. That's all they need to be victorious on map number one. That's such a scary situation to be in because those players that are getting revived, they can come up and get an easy one shot as you're trying to clean them up. But Rise, they just, they stay consistent, hit their old triggers and they won that fight, but still a little bit further away from, from getting that lead back in. By the time they get it back, they'll probably win a game in the same moment as well. Rebel, they got the shot grenade. They're going to block off one of the inner rams. Detox, he gets through, though. But he goes down. Quick revive. He plays for the kill. They're traded. Three members of Rebel on top of the hill. Rise playing from afar. But they're shearing covers. They're crowded. They're taking a lot of damage. And they're getting taken out. Rebel, map number one reactor. As they got off to a great start, they were able to hold that lead. They come out. Yep. And that's something you got to do in these situations for Rebel, which is massive. Come out to a hot start. So when you lose your footing, you lose your way along the path. You can always come back later on down the road. A great comeback attempt for Rise, but overall, you got to give it up to crack. Identive summons and demon for putting on a show and showing that consistency is key. And I think demon, the consistent flanks, either he was getting eliminated or just making the right rotation were a big factor in Rebel's victory. Yeah, it definitely was a big factor, his victory. And, you know, with this team comp, that's that's one beauty about having Demon there, right? Like, mm -hmm. on certain maps, he'll be a front spawn player. You know, you can trust him to go in that fight, you know, get some kills, you know, get that first blood, you know, the whole shebang, right? But on the flip end, he likes to play a lot of 1v1 spots and a lot of individual lanes. He'll play on the island. And I think that's where he's at his best because the simple fact is that he understands what he needs to, you know, get the flanks on his opponents, back up and support, or if he can just run in there and cause some chaos because he knows his teammates got his back. You know, Rebel allows him to make those decisions on his own while summons, crack, identives, the vets, as they're in those core team fights, you know, they're working together knowing that he's going to be there for them. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You literally have four... Of what, it depends on who you ask of the best players in Latin America. You don't ask no Nobles fans because they would definitely tell you different. But you, you see it. There was big plays by, by summons getting multi-killed. Big frag grenades elimination by Dentist. You already talked about Demon. And obviously that allows Crack to run free and almost anything that he wants. You see he even come big with Flank. And that's the thing about Rebel. As long as they can learn to help each other, as long as they can play into one goal and one game plan, they could be a big threat to take our major championship. Yeah, they're going to have to figure out what that identity is going to be. And make sure at all times they are going to be on the same page. So, well, so I know Rebel can do it, and they got plenty of time to do so. But this is just map number one in this series. They did a fantastic job. Summons hit an awesome performance. He dropped 20k damage in this map. A Vex, he dropped 20k for Rise for the L. Great performance from him. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's not close enough. So, we got to head on over towards Canal's execution. Jacob, how you feeling about that? I mean, I think for Rise, it's going to be a, a big chance to pull yourselves back into it because of that mad dash towards the middle bridge, whether you're going from high side or low side, you know, a Vexies or, or a Detox and kind of trade off with that sniper, which I, I think a Vexies uh, will be picking that one up. It is going to be a good opportunity. But my problem is when I kind of stand a Vexies versus someone like Summons toe to toe with that sniper, I, I heavily favor someone like Summons in that exchange, even, even someone like Identives. I feel like can pull off some great shots. And that's no slouch onto a Vexies. I just would like to see these teams kind of overall drop that sniper pickup, get aggressive, too high side, too low side, maybe even three into the water. Those Gears 1 style canal strats to really catch their opponents off guard. Yeah, and we always know that those weren't the best Gears 1 strats out there, the 2-2s and the 3-1s high sides, you know? If you, you know, 
You don't pick up scope. You're just asking to die. Okay, that's how I feel about it. You know, you're asking. I, I, I know how you for, for some free I, damage I, to come out. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You're asking to run three players across mid bridge and give out free headshots to somebody like Identus. Um, but that's just my personal opinion on it all. But I will. I agree with you. Not when everybody's it comes down. as good of a sniper as you, though, Blaze. You got to you know, realize I'm, that. I'm a, I'm a shell of myself, but I will still, you know, at the end of the day, we're calling canal strategies. Somebody say, let's run a 2 2 no scope. I say, you're the, crazy. <laughs> I say, you're right, crazy. Okay. Blaze. Stay alive. <laughs> I'll be there in five seconds, okay? Putting this thing <laughs> on my back real quick. But uh, at the end of the day, strategies like that will catch your opponent off guard, right? You see, you, you don't pick up that sniper. You send to a, a 2 2. The whole goal is, is that first down, that first kill. You get that first kill, you can always drop back, get power of weapons, get set up. And come up with a better game plan to close out the round. Mm -hmm. Because a map like Canals is not one where you want to play at too fast paced because of those snipers, right? They're looking at the high side, mid bridge, low side. If you don't respect them, you know, to a certain extent, you know, they are going to be looking for you as you're moving around a map. Now, if they're hitting shots that day, if not, keep keep rushing them. Keep running two twos until they finally hit one. And uh, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, and, and it's just more like to steal away from those rounds because you know the strategy is to pick up those sniper. And you know, a, a lot of the times that sniper, and you can kind of attest to it, being one of the experts of canals yourself, where you make that first rotation, it's not necessarily that first shot, even though that is kind of that defining factor whether you hit the shots or not, that first rotation. Are you running high side right away? Because you know if you get high side first, that player that you're going up against is going to have to go ahead and go down that straight pathway multiple opportunities you can go low side right away kind of push up try to catch those players off guard maybe there's a sneaky strat that you kind of counter through the water or you kind of sit on to middle bridge where your focus is you got to make sure that your sniper even though they're very very far off towards that back mm -hmm. bridge toward that high side are in the play just like everybody else you have to know where the angle is that your sniper can hit so you know which exchanges that you're risking not having help on versus what you're going to have help on through those bridge through the canals through the high side pathways Man, and you know, well, very, very well said. I think that there's about three different strategies in which you can run on this map that, are, that I feel like would be viable. Um, okay. Three or four. And I feel like the best one, and you know, I, I could be obsolete in thinking this, is, but it's still the one, one, two. You know, you have one guy low side, one guy pick up scope, and two guys go high side aggressively and try to take those connectors. And so, you know, if you get into their connectors right away, you keep them towards their high side of map, but also, too, as well, like, I know somebody's saying, but are you going to give up mid-bridge for free? You know, you still got Torque Bowl down there as well that you could play for. But the players that take mid-bridge, you're going to get about two, three shots at them for free, you know, without being okay. contested by any sniper. Also, if they want to go pick up those nades, that's going to be a free shot as well. So it's still a lot of damage to be put on those players. Um, but, you know, we'll see how these teams set it up. You know, I, uh, I feel like we rarely see canals as much when it comes down to execution. But I think it's going to be one of those maps as we get closer towards the major that some teams will be feel comfortable uh, in putting yeah. it in the cycle. Yeah, because no matter what your strategy you do, whether you're, you're grabbing the sniper, you're sending the two high side, low side, flooding water, I, I think it kind of resembles Clock Tower in certain ways to where there's so many different options that where you can run very many different strategies, keep your opponents guessing, catch players off guard. But I think that you said you haven't seen it so much because people might be saving it towards the tail end. That's why we might be seeing it today. We might be seeing it tomorrow during E days to where teams get that last bit of practice underneath their belt. So when the major ro rolls around, who knows? Because I've been saying it week after week, well, even though checkout is even in this cycle as game number five, checkout is one of those toss-up maps with how aggressive it can play. And one great lucky flash, one travel through a smoke can really cost you your lives and turn the tides no matter if you're the best team in the game or not. So I, I like to see Canals really kind of emerge. Maybe Canals, Clock Tower, Tomb, three of the best ex execution maps, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree. I don't know if you disagree there. Yeah, you know, I actually, um, you know, Tomb and Checkout, Tomb, Checkout, Clock Tower, Clock Tower Canals, <clears throat> excuse me, are, you know, when it comes down to it, I feel like the four maps, at least I love casting and, and I love playing the most out the rest. And so, uh, you know, Fear is cool and all, you know, we ain't seen a lot of Fear lately, but I think that's a map sure, that we may too. see later on. Um, some of these squads may be saying that, you know what, we're just going to auto ban it. We're just going to, you know, ban that as our first map and we don't mind um, any of the other maps in which we may have a have a chance of playing on in our cycle. So we'll see what these teams want to do as we get closer towards the major because yeah. um, they like to keep some things a little bit closer to their chest than, than normal. But uh, but as you should, you know, you don't want everybody seeing all your strategies. Yeah. Now, when you, yeah. 
I would say when we were watching that last match on Reactor, you saw like a lot of individual force plays coming out of Rise. Are there any things that you notice, any keys to victory coming into this match for Rise specifically? Any individual players that you want to see make adjustments coming into this match? Or do you think they just need to kind of shrug that one off because they did have a great comeback effort in the last half of the game? Well, for me, it's Detox on the low side mid-bridge, you know? Um, mm. If he's going to be playing that... You know, for him, he puts out a lot of damage there and he plays it with confidence. You know, as soon as he comes out of spawn, he takes the perfect route. You can almost, you know, bet nine times out of ten, he's probably going to go up there and he's going to take that bridge. But if you challenge him, if you challenge him, he does not mind taking that fight whatsoever. He'll say, okay, you know, I'll hit that first spread, get the first blood, and from there, he, you know, him and his squad know exactly what to do. So I'm excited to see the performance in which he's going to have on his mic, on, the, on his map. Now, I do think that when it comes down to sniping, he may be the best on his squad. Now, that, yeah. and that's, that's saying a lot because you got a Vex, he's got Ice, he got Rush, he's, I think they all can snipe. But, uh, you know, I think Detox have the scope on this map. I think he'll drop two, uh, four headshots on average, okay? I, I like that. I like that because you kind of look at the makeup of the roster. Even though Vexi is willing to kind of do anything, I, I do think Detox does play more into a power weapon role. And then, like he said, that is saying something. Vexi is extremely skilled. So it's Rushies. Icy's picked it up in his previous teams, even dating back to like Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Uh, but that's, that's very interesting to say because I think Icy, you kind of put him in that 1v spot. I want to see him kind of go up top maybe kind of play in towards the water on Torque forward to where he doesn't have the force to make that big impact play, but the opportunity and potential to make that impact play is there. Rushies, you want him more towards the water. You want him to where he's going to be able to do a lot of movement to where he can kind of put some jukes on the players, but also make that mad dash towards the middle bridge. And I think him and Avexis kind of have that good one-two punch combo to where you're sending to anywhere, whether it's high side, low side. They are the players that are going to give their opponents the most trouble and allow for Detox to get those snipes off, no matter if it's Detox or Avexis, though. I, th I think they have confidence in their hand, but I, I still fall into it. Even though I have Rise winning the series overall still, I think summons does have the upper hand against any other player in this lobby when it comes to that sniper. And execution at that, all right? When it comes down to Summers and just his execution experience over the years, um, he is at the top of that list. Now, you know, you look at everyone in this lobby, you know, I see identities, you know, right, right there as well. Um, you know, when it comes to OGs who've been playing back since, For a while. you know, Gears 3 days when we're playing execution, uh, Gears 3, Gears 2, so... Uh, yeah, they've been around the block for a long time, and that's the beauty about execution. You know, one player on his own can really win a map for his squad. Okay, and that's probably why I love Canal so much. No matter you know where you where where people are, you can have an impact in any given lane. You know, you can you know get those kills from afar, or you can you know give in a high side connectors or in a mid bridge. So we'll see who's going to be the playmakers for for both these teams. Uh, you know, as we get map number two underway. I do believe we were just waiting for somebody to switch spots and uh, we'll be getting this one started because Rebel, hey, they're on fire. Okay, they're looking to give Rise another L, you know, another map loss, go up 2-0 in this series, and uh, we'll see if they could do that. But Rise, if we've seen them before in the past, start off slow, but yeah, in have. the end, you know, they, they find a way to bring it back once they get warmed up. Yeah, they usually do. Like I said, that they had a good, great comeback a good and a great comeback effort towards the tail end of that last game to where they faltered very, very early on. The first two hills weren't necessarily out of control, but the hills number three, hills number four and five, that's when they lost a lot of control of that match. It was hills number seven, eight, and towards that, that recycle where they began to kind of pick it together. But once you put yourself too deep into a hole, it's so hard to come out of, especially on control. First to 300, one round. Execution, especially with these players and with their mentality, to where they have the experience and execution. Uh, I feel like they're going to have to be able to reset round after round, throw out different strategies. Even if you're going to do the same exact strategy, you probably learned something from the rounds prior. So you make those little adjustments that make a big impact towards the overall portions of these rounds. So as we do mm -hmm. kind of like wait in these players, they're also kind of thinking over their strategies, what they want to do. They're talking over these last moments. Do you throw that trick strategy out round number one? Plant that seed in your opponent's head. Keep them at least weary, guessing. That could come in the form of an early smoke grenade towards the water so they don't know if you're pushing or not. They don't know if you're going that grab that torque or not. It's not all about the physicality of these games and the shotguns, but it's the mind games as well.
Yeah, the mind games are a huge portion of it. And I'm excited to see the mind games throughout the rest of this series. But, you know, when it comes down to it, they happen at such a, a small level. Sometimes it's hard to, to call them out because at every single position, you know, like I always say, man on man is at base. You know, you always got somebody on this map and what you're accountable for. And you should be paying attention to him round after round. And through his position, it could give up what your opponent's strategy may be. Um, and, you know, give you guys a little bit more consistency. But we're kicking off round number one. It's going to be Demon versus Vexies with the scope. As Demon goes for that little pre-fire there. Enemy spotted. I didn't expect to see Demon, but Crack with first blood on to Detox. Demon gets the headshot. Taking out Rush, he's icy, almost has no options there. He has to grab the torque bow to be able to make a play, and this is where he needs to be able to reunite with the Vexies. Survive that damage from the middle bridge, but he's trying to stay a little bit longer, trying to catch somebody over peeking on the side of Rebel before he tries to retreat right here, right now, but 4v2. And this is where it differs. Very, very different from the canals of Gears of War 1 of the past to where they can slowly push in on the side of Rebel to try to take out these players. It's Rise. Even though they're down 4v2, they have to make the moves. They cannot wait for this over time because if it goes over to them, they can obviously overstack the hill with their numbers or they can just hold Rise off of the hill and win by default. Rise has two power weapons to work with. They need to find themselves... A kill was somewhere where, where it's going to be the easiest kill. You can take it to snipe fight high side. Oh, great Damn. shot. But I thought he was going to still get the stick. I think it would have been worth it if he sticks them. Leave a vex, he's in a 1v3. But in the end, it's a, it's a hard fight to win. And Rebel, they'll take this one off the back of Demon getting the first blood with that sniper on Rush. He's to, to kick off this round. Yep. I think he also helped Crack as well because Crack was towards that low portion of the mid bridge who also got an elimination with the shotgun. So you know as well as I do, if you're that player that is playing towards the middle bridge and there's a headshot that, that makes your job a lot easier, that's going to alleviate the pressure. That's going to boost the confidence as well. So Rise, they lost that first round. They lost the first map as well. They're not being able to shake off the cobwebs just yet. Here towards the mid, Detox needs to be careful there towards the front. Crack with a quick bow pickup. They're going to be able to get out right away. Rushies will be able to win his fight on high side connectors. All of Rebel being backed up towards their stairs. This is Rise in a beautiful position to be able to get their first round on the board, having his main advantage. We'll see how does, how does Rebel want to get closer, how to possibly find a kill. But it, it gets harder when you don't have this high side connector control. He's just trying to hit the bumps on to the top of those bridges. It was only one man advantage this time around on the side of Rise. They're going to take their time just a little bit more. Two bits of utility that's in the form of a flash from Avexis and Detox. So this is where I would like to see them think outside of the box here. Avexis should drop that flash and over to Icy or Rushy. So that way when they are the ones making that push, they have it in their hands all ready to use. Maybe kind of allow for him to stay towards the back line just a little bit for when they have to make their push here. But just very, very similar to the situation where Rise was in, instead of it being a 2v4, it's a 3v4. Rebel still has to figure out a way to make a move, and they have flashes of their own. They have the torque bow in the hands of Crag. Demon still has that sniper, and before overtime pops, a new sniper mm -hmm. will be up for grabs as well. You know, at the end of the day, Rebel knows that, you know, Rise is not going to move out of cover until the, until the heel comes through. So they just got to wolf pack and be aggressive and try to find some of these kills. And this is where a sniper will pay you dividends. It, it, it sucks to take that challenge on a shot, but you got to take that challenge to at least make it a 3v3. You may try to push him in connectors. A Vex, he's stuck in this situation. The overtime heel comes through. Oh, my God. A Vex, he gets to. <laughs> Icy gets the kill with the nade. He says, don't push me. They just on different pages there of how they wanted to take that battle. One pulling out the sniper, just waiting there as a Vexies just in a 1v2. Just where it says this great shot to Vexies backing off of the cover. Overall, just played that absolutely perfect rise as they tie it up one round apiece and answering back rather quickly instead of waiting a couple rounds down the road is going to be a great thing for Rise in this series because that's that's the thing. Once they put themselves into a hole, they have the potential to come back, but it's just so hard against some of these teams. Ooh, that was close. First blood goes in favor of Rise. Now would it be in a 4v3? You're going to see Rebel try to quickly make a play in the connectors, but Identis gets taken out. The snipes aren't connected with 
and Demon be by himself in a 1v4. He's taken out. And Rise, they'll find two in a row. So, Rise and their aggression on the mid bridge early on, I think it's been paying off for him. But uh, Rushies has been really locking down his high side connector for the squad. Yeah, he's playing very, very aggressive in his 1v1s. And that's the thing about Rushies. I think once he's in his groove and he finds himself, he's usually one of those first players to make the move because Rushies knows. And this goes back into Gears War Ultimate Editions where he was kind of a rookie in the game. He wants to take the game into his whole hands. He doesn't want to say, hey, I should have. Hey, I wish I would have did this. He's saying, hey, I will do this. I will do that and take over these games. The two high side that you were talking about coming through. Detox trying to push through. He gets downed out first. Two more players from high side. Demon with the team kill. He takes out his teammate back a by detox this is falling heavily in favor of rise here after a big blunder coming out oh no oh man that was quick <laughs> oh that was a quick indeed and uh demon taking off some of his head oh he was not expecting that one but you know things happen ultimately he just made the round that much easier for rise rush he's been there for his teammates two first bloods he's at the top of the board him and detox um, really controlling that, that top high side um, at the Fortress, which I've never caught it before in my life, and I don't know why I just did, but you know, after playing this map for so long, I've never caught it Fortress. Mm. But high side. High side, that's connected. Yeah, high side connector, connectors, yeah. Connector, I think connector, the colors. whole chat know high side connectors. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even noticed it said Fortress till now. <laughs> oh, the push. The push is coming through. Rise is getting aggressive. They're Ooh, continuing okay. to try to get first blood, but that aggression cost them as they missed a couple shots. I don't know who that was staying alive. That was Summons buying so much time for his squad. And that's something he does also well throughout his history as the Vexi is being pushed. Flash Grenade is going to hit the stun and Demon continues his terror. That's going to be the third one in the books as Rebel wins the round. Two to three though, they still trail the rise. Catch them off guard. I don't want to say catch them off guard, but that's just Summons movement, ability to stay alive as Rise were the ones trying to make a move towards that connector yet again. Yeah, they were, but it was just this time around. Demon came in at the right time, was able to get two shots, um, two two shots, two kills. And you saw it was Rushies and Detox who was trying to beat the aggressors. And they're going to be playing like that every single round at two high side. You know, it's one of the safest routes in which you can take to get some map control and some positioning and lock down this bit bridge. Also, with the rest of the map being as open as it is, leave it up to your sniper to lock that down if you want to. First blood goes in favor of Crack there towards the mid. A down coming through up top. Rushy's able to find a kill for Rise once again. But will he be able to get Reef Dive there towards the middle? One nade will not be able to connect the way he needs it to, but it's a 2v2, Jacob. Oh, he has one more frag, though. He cannot get too antsy with it. Vexies. He connects on to Summons. Taking him out, peeking, the battle's gonna come through. He still has that frag now to cause some confusion there, but I like how he's taking his time, especially since they know they're in this 1v2 oh, situation yeah, as done. Demon just gets wigged yet again. And Vexies is proving me wrong right on the spot. I thought he was gonna kind of get outmatched by summons. Demon picking it up. He was the first headshot of the match, but since then, it's been all of Vexies all the way seven and two just taking over the game for rise nation yeah we were wrong about um who the snipers are going to be on this map we thought like you know detox summons like dances but on the flip end it's a vex season demon and you know i'm happy with the matchup in which we're in which we're seeing um a vex he's just doing his best to really anchor down there towards that man and support his team with, with the scope there towards that lower side he also doesn't mind getting, you know you see he gets that mark on demon he knows he's going high side so he rotates around that Rise trying to make some plays happen here in the water. They know exactly where the sniper is and they know where their next kill needs to be at as Identis is in the water. I don't think he can get that bow. He knows if Vexies is watching him, so he's just going to stay low for a second and uh, see what type of plan him and Demon can come up with to get another round on the board. Yep, just like you were talking about that high side aggression. Rushy's taking it towards the low side. He, he got a little antsy by himself. It cost him his life, but the rest of his teammates were there to back him up. So it, it wasn't a waste. It wasn't all for nothing as Rebels trying to go ahead and push up towards that middle bridge. Not wanting to give those grenades over for free, but it is going to come through anyway. Rebels going to connect. That's going to be Demon. Frag grenades are going to be forced out. That's going to be Detox. Icy towards the high side. Big battle between him and Identis. And Icy takes him out. Demon gets one, though. He's trying to get another one. Almost lines up the shot on the Icy. But it's going to be Detox an icy 1v2 situation against demon i've seen him clutch a 1v3 on two before oh. can he do it on canals the missed shot if he connects with that one on the detox we're talking about possibilities here yeah he hesitated he had two 
three opportunities there <clears throat> at getting that shot off. So nice try. Um, wish I would have saw that shot that he got on the Vex. He says that was definitely a, a challenge there towards the middle for him to be able to find a kill. But in the end, he needed three and Rise is breathing down the back of his neck and it wasn't much in which he can do. They need one more to get this series all tied up. One on one. We'll see if Rise can close it out here in round number eight. Icy's playing aggressive. Well, he's playing a little bit more passive down there towards the low side. Up top, it's going to be a Vex. He's in Detox. Sorry. Detox and Rushies. He's going to be playing aggressive up there in the connectors. They will find one down once again. Summons on the mid. The sniper's being missed. Detox finds a kill. A Vexies with a down. The revive comes in. Yay, nay. It's a nay. But a Vexies with a miss. Here comes Demon with a snipe in hand. Oh, the blind fire doesn't connect it. He knows <laughs> it's not much of what you could do there. And he's just going to get his head kicked into another dimension. And Rise are going to take map number two to tie up the series at one map a piece. But in our predictions, I think we kind of called it for Rise to take this series, or I should say Rebel. It is going to come in way of this next map. Escalation on Harbor. All right, Rush. He's five kills, five deaths, five assists, 5,500 damage. <laughs> Woo. Got it done. Rise, they got us all tied up, but it's not done yet. Don't go anywhere, folks. When we come back, it's Harbor Escalation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gears Pro League. As we are midway in our series between Rise and Rebel, it's all tied up one to one as Rise on this uh, Canal's execution. They came out swinging in a 6 2 fashion to come out victorious. Jacob, what was the key to their victory? I mean, it was Rushy. That man was not only the key, he was the tip of the spear, but he led the charge. And what I always talk about something teams where you can spot out one player, you can't always do that for Rise, but what it looked like, if you spot out Rushy, you know where that attack is coming from. From the high side, him and Detox pushing towards that middle bridge. From the low side, when he went deep in towards the water, they were aggressive. They kept Rebel guessing, and Rebel was just guessing wrong. Yeah. And sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles and that's the execution. You know, you make an assumption of what you feel like your opponent, uh, what strategy they're going to come out with, what they're going to do, and it just doesn't line up. At the end of the day, you just got to win your battles and take those fights. But it was Rise who won majority in that map number two. But we head on over towards Harbor Escalation. And when it comes down to who I'm favored on this map, my God, it's, it's a hard one for me, Jacob, okay? Because I think both these teams are talented on this map. Yeah, to me, it's going to be, like I said, one of the hardest weeks for me to predict each and every one of these matches today. But overall, I think this is going to be the one Rebel absolutely needs to come out on top. Because you look at those last two maps of Rise takes this being up two to one. They can easily take over on Regency Control. That teamwork, it plays more into that Rise style of play. Check out if they get aggressive and Rushy continues to play how he was. There's going to be two big maps that it's going to be hard to beat Rise on. So for Rebel, it's going to come out with an early start. Addentives needs to go towards that middle bridge, maybe with Demon and Crack. Not middle bridge, but that middle boat area. And then Summons is going to go down towards that 1v1. Summons, he can buy all the time in the world. But if yeah. you're three core players towards that middle bridge, or if I keep saying bridge, but that middle boat, if they're not successful, Summons is going to have a rough time. So for Crack, Addentives, and Demon, I think the first couple of rounds are heavily on their shoulders. Yeah, it definitely will be for them to be able to set the pace and get their team off to a good start. Be paying close attention to that Winch and Stern fight. Um, that's going to be Icy, uh, Vexies, and Detox playing that top end of the map. And that's a that's a good trio to work with. Rush needs to be playing on the island by himself down low as he loves. Um, as he loves. Actually, and I take that back. He, he's I playing in a fight what? up top, so I switch it up. Rush is in the yeah, mix. Ooh, this is going to be a big change there, but I've always wanted to see Rushies in this fight. Somewhere I've seen him successful on a harbor. Gears War 4 back in the Ghost Gaming reciprocity days, but he gets taken out after getting a couple of eliminations himself. And this is where it's going to be all up to a Vexies here to try to buy time, but he gets aggressive, runs into two players. Now I see feeling that same pressure. I said the potential for summons to feel, and he goes down. So an early start going over to Rebel here as they get control of that stern. They get control of the boat, and they get control of the neutral. And they're forcing back wow. Rise, forcing them back there towards that sea hill. But as Rise is trying to find themselves a few kills so they can alleviate some of that pressure, they'll do that, taking down Crack. But they lose Rushies in the process. 
if Rise can get this decap and capture a B right away, or at least a decap, they're in a good spot. They focus on that, but Demon comes in at the opportune time to be able to find one. That's the down on two, but Icy there to save the day, Jacob. Whew. Back and forth. This one is already getting chaotic as Crack gets that flank, trying to even it up. He gets that down on the Icy. The show will go on. Rushy, some great shots over the top. Reinforcements are continuously on the way, but Identives has that cross. He needs to watch out as Detox is trying to interrupt it. Keep this down to a 1v1 between Rushies and Crack down low. This is where it's going to be staggered. All the reinforcements are not going up to the boat, but they're going towards this new drill. Rushies gets inside, throws a flash to try to get the break. It is going to come through, but at the cost of his life. And that's going to be Crack going right back into that new drill to cap it right back up. Detox takes the position away from Identives, so they're able to get that cross as Rice has to go they have to strike while the iron's hot they're trying to down low but that's gonna be a uh that's gonna be a vex season icy taking out detox he lost his 1v2 battle um up top stern and rushy just came off the respawn so this is a situation where rise has one push left and rushy's being the only member alive he needs to use this time to try to get as much four positioning on a map as he can so his teammates don't have much work to to do when they come off the respawn they see he's just trying to thread in the middle, stay alive for summons. If he can get behind these two players and get to the sea hill, yeah, as good as done. And even though if, if D was D cap rebel, they'll take the round first. And so, you know, great job to do in that round. If you know, as I'm reflecting back on it, it was it was the it was the winch fight. It was the start of winch yep. control. Rise never got it back throughout the entirety of that round. Yep, after that first initial battle, even when Invexes was in that 1v2, instead of buying time, he tried to get aggressive. And that was the moment that you're talking about, where Identives was just able to hold down that winch. And from there, he just locked down that B fight. So no matter all that chaos that we saw, shock and fight after shock and fight, they stayed one step ahead due to that damage. And Identives, he gave it up for a moment, but just for a moment for Detox to feel safe. And then that's where he picked up that other elimination. So for Rise, it, it comes down to this big battle. Rushies was able to start off hot with first blood, but throughout the course, it was kind of went over as Demon. He gets that position first. Wrapped around though, and Vexy gets the flank. The elimination is there. Rushies gets cleaned up. They're stuck onto the boat, but they get angled out of Vexy's again. Left by himself. 1v2. He gets one though. He's keeping this one stalemated, so this time around, it's oh. not going to go over as easy as he gets both of those eliminations here. And just like Identives, he sets his eyes onto that neutral hill. Yeah, that was a great 1v2 from him. He held his ground. He knew he wasn't running. He knew he had to fight, and he won his fight. But... He's going to need some help here momentarily. Detox is rushing to try to get to him because, like I said, they need that sturd and winch control. They didn't have it throughout the entirety of that last round, but coming off a better initial, they're okay. Detox misses those last three Botox shots, but even with the first, that's still a good amount of damage to really initiate this fight. A few more shots in there. He goes down. Avexis is left by himself. They both get taken out, and Rebel will have control. Three down. Between a third and a winch, B Hill capture, it's all up to Icy. Yeah, Icy just really is a mountain to climb here. He's able to get that one on the demon, though. The reset is going to come through. Almost gets that second shot. He's going to drop here, but a moment, a chance. That's what he's going to give rise here. Is another reset going to come through? Rushies breaks in. No revives just yet. Avexi's going to fall. Detox is able to get one, but they both get taken out simultaneously. Not buying IC enough time as Rebel will start map number three off hot with a 2-0 to zero lead. Yeah, great job to them being able to come back into that round. Rise won the initial. They were set up. They were in a two to one hill setup, and um, they were they were comfortable, right? Well, yeah, they were. Th that was until the two players pushed up top stern. Because once that fight was won, you hit another one, rotate towards winch, get that down, and it was a three man rush on top of that home hill. From there, Rise they had a great effort to to uh, get it back, but. Not much of what you could do, um, you know, running up those stairs into multiple lancers and shotguns. So great effort uh, to, to great job to rebel for winning that fight and just being decisive, right? Being decisive and, yep. and plan for that domination and commit into it. Yeah, whether it's the right play or the wrong play, one of the things I say, as long as you're on the same page, you can almost make something happen. A quick revive while your opponents are getting lancered out as Demon is now trying to be that lancer, that thorn in the side. Very, very similar towards that last round, but crack. He gets a little greedy, tries to go for elimination and a down. He gets taken out. 
Demon continues on towards his flank. They know he's back there. So even if he's not going to get the decap or anything like that plays, they know he has to worry about him. But there's players that are going to spawn up and be a huge threat to Demon here in a few short seconds. As he goes for the quick down, he just bot walks up to a Vexies and gets that elimination. Triple cap domination. Rushies from one side. Detox from the other. They need to get this reset to come through, and they do. They will survive for now. Demon gets taken out, and they will get a chance to breathe. And this is the early portions of this round, so they have so much much time left to get back into this game yeah they got plenty of time to work with the great aggression from demon to get behind enemy lines rise kicked off that round they sent three up top um to be able to fight that stern but by him getting back there he forced them to have to cut back now with a two to one hill set up rebel they're right where they want to be they just need to be careful and ask themselves how can we protect the b hill in case it gets rushed and ident is there towards mid map he has the angle that summons knees to be able to help him out and win this fight crack will be here as well just in case and they're gonna let uh demon just kind of anchor behind him towards that a hill give him call outs rebel i like how they're playing this actually going out there Pushing through the middle, someone's just being a distraction towards that end. Honestly, I think oh. someone's planned out. I won't even lie to you right now. I think someone's is in a, in a world of his own. Is that would have been a great opportunity for a cross to come through as Rebel. And they might have to just let this round go here, but they still have a chance here in a 3v4 scenario to kind of close this one out. And, and if Rebel's history, especially with identities on the roster, with him lagging out in the past, they have completed a 3v4 round out, but the win condition already with two hills are going to go over towards Rise as they, they are just continuing this out. They might not even know Rebel is losing a player at this point in the game as they find another couple of downs to come through. Triple cap domination with a full wipe on the side of Rebel as Rise are going to use this as an opportunity. Not something that they wanted, not something that they planned for, but if it gets gifted in front of you, sometimes you just have to take it. Yeah, you do got to take it. And I'm pretty sure they knew, but it was a live round. <laughs> and Rise, you got to take those live rounds when you can, even if they do lag out. <clears throat> now, excuse me. Now, as we go into this weapon placement, the beauty about it is that, you know, we got the stalemate reset feature, so we'll be okay there. Um, as long as nobody, you know, puts something center line and something down secondary, then we'll, you know, have the worst case scenario. But with this being said, uh, Summons will be back here soon. And, you know, Rebel, the, the start in which they got in this map, it was one in which they needed. But when he gets back into this lobby... They're going to have to just, you know, pick up where they left off because this is an important map in this series with Regency Control and Checkout being the last two. I just feel like it, it just says a lot about Rise, right? It, well, it just, it smells Rise, you know, everything about it. You know, just, it's in their favor. I feel like that, uh, you know, this is their form to win it. Yeah, this, this could be that turnaround moment, but for IC towards the low side, this is where... I, I would think a frustration could begin to set in. I'm not going to say it is because he is a championship player. He is one of those players that have climbed out from the depths before. But on um, this map, Harbor, unlike any other, once you're in that 1v1 spot, you're so spread out. You're so far away from that 3v3 fight that is going on. You lose that fight. You, you feel that pressure. Lancers coming down from the winch. Flanks coming through. The triple cap domination. And then your options. Your options are very narrowed. You almost always have to go forward into that cross, into that player that will sit there with a shotgun, knowing that you have to go into him. So for Icy, I just need him to be able to stay composed in this matchup for Rise, no matter how bleak it looks. Yeah, they, they just got to stay composed indeed. And, you know, um, but, you know, I will say that over this last offseason, I just, you know, I feel like Rise, when it comes down to him, they... they they're more fighters than they used to be. You know, granted, I don't want to say, actually, I don't want to say it like that. that like that. I, I just want to say that they don't give up, okay? You can't count them out. But the thing is, is that we've seen them before in the past where I feel like they kind of like, you know, let themselves down. But I don't, I don't feel like that's them this season before. You know, I feel like I've saw them in certain series where, you know, things are, are, are going their way. But, you know, you can kind of see your opponent making that comeback. And it's a demoralizing comeback in time, you know? So, yep. Sometimes you lose certain rounds and they just they hit a, lot, a little bit harder than others in a way in which you lost them. But, you know, I've seen Rise lose rounds like that this season, but I've also seen them come back quicker than I have in the past. And for them, with the ability to kind of control their destiny when it comes to taking first, because they do have that head-to-head -head matchup 
versus Noble. And, and I, I heavily expected them to kind of come out swing and take this match up by the horns and really control their destiny today. But if Rebel, that's what they're playing for here. I, uh, Rebel's not going to be able to move up from fifth to fourth place. They don't have the head to head against United if United loses their matchup later on today. So for Rebel, it's just going ahead and getting that last bit of practice, playing bracket busters, uh, or I should say money busters, away from Rise, who could potentially lose thousands of dollars because of this one game away from Noble, but that goes to where Noble has to win their matchups as well. If Rise lose this one, Noble controls their own destiny, but right now Noble does not. They got second place on lock for sure, but from there, no one knows. Yeah, from there, no one knows. Um, I will say what I do know, I saw Summons join the game, so he'll be uh, getting loaded up here soon. We see him spawning there towards the back. We'll get the stalemate reset feature coming in here soon as uh, we get this matchup back underway. You know, big big shout out to Summons, quickly getting back into the lobby too as well. You know, all our players, you know, connection issues isn't something that we love to have. You know, no one loves connection issues, but it's how we handle them and how we get back into the game. But that's online for you folks. You know how it is. Hopefully, uh, on the side of Rebel, they just you can kind of continue where they left off in terms of how they were playing that middle bridge. Demon was getting some good flanks. And even in that round that you were talking about to where... Uh, I think it was Rise who lost that up top. They kind of forced that situation. Detox missed a couple big Botox shots while they were taking the position, running up that ramp. And then he still tried to press forward anyway while still kind of missing those shots. And that was one of the things I said before this matchup. Rise needs to stop forcing these situations as individuals. They need to play in that team play that got them to that 7-1 record. All right. And it gets to round number four. Kicking this one off with Demon as he'll be towards this winch area of the map. Going to be throwing his own flash. I want to say that came up a little bit short. He's in a difficult spot, but he stays aggressive. Knowing when that stun's going to be undone, but as he goes down, quick revive, double down. Detox won't live. Rushies, will he be cleaned up? No, he won't. Identus comes away with two, and that will be a team fight won by Rebel. He's trying to get some angles on Icy to just help out summons as best as he can, but they may not be able to get it in time. He's be able to kind of push up and trust his teammates. There you go. Icy feels that pressure again. That's what I'm talking about. When your team loses that exchange, your options are just dwindled down. But for him going up against identives and summons, that dynamic duo is very hard. Detox getting that elimination onto Demon. Gets back to backs as he takes out summons as well. He's getting crossed by crack and nobody has yet to capture this neutral. This is what we would call a double initial blaze. Yeah, no one has ever been, been able to get in there until now where Rides is finally getting that capture. They're also going to be backing up off, off this winch as well. Looking to get back into the fight. It's a 2-2 on the map. Rise, they know that they're the defensive squad and they've quickly shifted gears, letting Rebel play into their hands as they will find two at the winch. They're looking to get their third down low at B, but Crack tried to make the play. He can't get it done. Great pistol there from Avexis. You would have thought... That was modded the way he was feathering that trigger, but we know it's uh that's USDA organic right there, right? That boy is all natural talent. As rise, we'll lock in round number four and get us all tied up two to two. I just uh kind of remembered. You just kind of popped in my head. Carrills, remember Carrills with the Hammer Burst Days, Metal yeah. 2009. Some say it's modded, and then when they switch to Lancer, he's like, some say it's held down. Oh, man. Carils, Carils, Carils. He Ooh. goes back, man. I wonder how we would fare in the competition today. I he does, I mean, he, he has one of those are, kind of fundamental mindsets. I mean, the Vexies are, I want to say, kind of similar players, too, as well, uh, you know, in, in their primes. But uh, in the end, you know, yeah, OG there. Some say it's modded. Yeah, man, when that pistol used to, you, you know, get them headshots for you, boy. You couldn't peek. You couldn't come off cover when pistol get headshots, okay? That's what. That's the last time Gears was a cover base shooter <laughs> when pistols got headshots. Already see the adjustments. The down low players even using their flashes. That's why you see Icy and, or Summons can't really press up down low once their team loses that fight because they don't have the flashes. But a trade in, in elimination so far as Detox gets taken down. This is the second half. So not only do you get rewarded high ground, you get rewarded that neutral hill as well. So Icy, now he knows he doesn't have to press forward. He doesn't have to go for a neutral hill. He just has to wait for his teammates to spawn back up. And this is where Demon is going to have an important role here. Gather that information. 
and figure out where these players are coming off a of respawn. That's going to telegraph where that rotation is going to come through. That way you can kind of set up a lot easier as Detox grabbing the shot grenade on one end. Summons on the other. The push is coming through. Summons is not going to get there in time to throw that shot. I dance his make it caught out, but he gets there in time to back up rush. He's, he has to worry about his right, where Summons will have his back, but he's in, he's in the shot grenade. I did just can't do much about that. Was slow to get to the revive. He will just get out, reposition, choosing not to die to the rest of those rise members up top. But he's going to engage at the right time. The flank comes through. That's a good first shot. A better second shot. The e heal is going to favor Rebel. And Identis, with this high ground, can find at least one or two more kills. I like the decision here to kind of step off of the hill for this moment. Make sure you secure these eliminations. That's going to make your job easier so far down the road. But no points being gathered for Rebel just yet. But a double down is going to be just as good. Now they can backtrack. Get that neutral hill. Stagger out the desk. Look at the mini map. They get that elimination onto Icy, which is huge. So now they can focus forward. And that's exactly what they're doing. Players are beginning to swarm. Detox. It's about buying time here. He probably will get eliminated here. But a trade needs to come through. He's going to drop. Summons a detox. That, they're attacking that hill. That's going to be cracked with the help as well. One more down is going to come through. Vexy's trying to get an elimination. He finds one. He doesn't get the revive just yet, though, but he gets another elimination, which is just as good. Icy trying to be the hero, but he gets taken out by Demon. That's a double kill, and that is a round victory by Rebel. Three to two. First round of the half for this Rebel squad, who are looking absolutely strong to start the half as well. Yeah, great, great, great fight by them. Uh, great round. Now, you know, it starts off with, you know, uh, Identis kind of, you know, flanking up top as Demon was being a distraction at the winch because we saw Rise move up there. They did, they did a good job retaking it, but I feel like where they failed was that no one stayed, right? They all transitioned down low and started playing for other goals and objectives as a unit where they wasn't expecting somebody to come back up and contest them. But Identis knew that he wasn't going to run away and, and let them have it for free. So good job to him to, to kind of get that all set up there towards the late game for Rebel to win. Now we head into round number six as Demon is going to be on his winch. And with a right hand, he chooses to get out. Crack moves in for free. And he's going to be able to collect on that kill. But Rebel, they need to move quickly as the downs are there. They are trapped in a corner. Avexis gets taken out there in that 1v2. Rebel, they're looking for some more map control. And they might get it if Crack can find these kills. Ooh, Icy saving the day. Crack just getting a little bit too greedy by himself. Summons just trying to charge his way out of there. The greener pastures and stay alive, but they know he's weak. They don't want to give up this elimination because that's a window of opportunity there. That rush, she's burst wide open. They're going to stagger that death out. They're going to get that second hill underneath their control, and already you can see the spread in your mini-map. They're going to go ahead and try to gather their points off of this double hill setup. And I think this is a good move here for Rise. You know, they got two stacked on their opponent's home hill. They are... What? I want to say they just got a new Retro Lancer soon. Yeah, Icy has one in his hand. This is exactly where they want to be. So this is a 2v2 fight. Rushy and Icy, they are playing off their left hand, but that's nothing they can't handle, especially having this Retro. As you see how Icy gets aggressive with this angle, that's how you need to do it, having that weapon. Rushy's will have a support for the back, but Identus comes out of nowhere. Now turns this into a chaotic situation where both Rise members go down. But in, even in a process, Rise needs to be quicker to really to kind of take top stern, and they're going to do that. Exactly. So they get it back. They still got at least one heal to get points, but they need some more. Yeah, they. I, I felt like they should have tried to survive on the other side of the map, but they tried to solidify the eliminations. What cost them in the end, but luckily for Rise, with that double hill setup, that got them a lead. A lead that's only going to last them a few seconds longer, as now Rebel has that same setup. Summons, he's trying to charge his way up. He gets taken down. No revive for Crack. As a back A and a front A coming through, as Vexies and Detox working together. Longtime teammates reunited with this roster. That's going to be another double kill for them. And a full-on squad wipe, which looks like a triple cap domination here, as long as Rushy's kind of finished this one out. Picks up this retro one player that's gonna be crack kind of leading the charge spotted out by a teammate a revive's gonna come through the break's gonna happen no trade though it summons and crack both of them go down demon and his teammate not gonna get that same opportunity as rise they tie this one up at three rounds apiece yeah good job to rise there in that round four being able to find themselves some more points
Because once that stern fight did not work out, Rushies was very decisive about the play he wants to make for his team going from home hill to home hill. And from that moment, they did a, they just did good uh, collecting off as much time as they could. And with, with them having those retro lancers, they had to pull a lot of players over towards that side of the map just to take the two players off that position. They needed a 3v2. Mm -hmm. And during that process, Rise says, you know what? We'll take our numbers elsewhere on the map. They kept the heels, uh, they kept the map off balance. And this is where summons nice. You're going to have that second chance, kind of. They're not going to grab the instance right away. And that's exactly why. You're going to see it from their point of view this time around. They have to throw that utility directly into the fight before they can kind of go grab those instants off towards the side. But both of those Rise members going down, forced the chain revives together. Vex is just trying to get their instance from downtown. That's Icy affected that fight. And this is where you're going to give summons that upper hand in the 1v1 scenario if his team wins this exchange. And I like how he's wasting his time, but he actually helps his team win it. Putting Rushy in a 1v2 situation, both of the members of Rebel are trying to take the angles now, making Rushy's life a living hell here. As Detox tries to alleviate that pressure, Rushy's gets down and out with the pistol, but that bot of the Vexies are to say Detox some time here. Another yeah. 1v2 is going to happen though, so he needs to try to stay alive. A miss roll is going to take him out in towards the end, so if Vexies he gets spotted out. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't get spotted out, he can be a sneaky player there for a moment. But Rebel's going to know he's there. So they're just going to set up for two, try to gain this scoreline to make their lives easier towards the second half of this round. Yeah, just keep increasing the lead in which they have. They know soon Rise will have to make a move. And with these marks, they can kind of um, see where this move is going to start to come from. Now, Rebel, as they're setting up their defenses, this is a 3v3 fight between Stern and Winter. It's a 1v1 down low. This is exactly what Rebel wants. They just need to hit their shots. They win this team fight, they could go to map point. Great shot grenade placement there to kind of get him off of that pillar. He didn't, wasn't able to kind of back up and hold the line with his teammates. So now they're trying to retake. Now they're trying to survive and they're not going to be able to. That's Demon and Crack who both fall. Identus was doing what he can with that Lancer, but now he finds himself between a rock and a hard place. One oh. down from the front side oh. though. He's making magic happen. Oh. A secondary flank coming through oh. from Vexi. He gets another down. He cannot clean it up. He's forced to reload. Rushies gets taken down. His teammates are there. They oh, are the Joe, reinforcement. Danny. That he needed, and he shows why Identus is the king of Latin America. Wee, that's that's a difficult position to be in. Imagine in the center of three players with their lancers out, it. trying to send you to the respawn, and he fought his way out. The way he did it, man, you can tell he's been playing gears for ten plus years. Okay, that was that was so instinctive. He took the right routes. But as we get back into this next team fight, this rise rushing three up top once again. Crack has to disengage. Summons will lose his life, but it's a 3v3 on the map. Identus, he's trying to play for the home hills to keep his team in it. Icy takes a lot of damage, but he needs to get back in there quickly, and he shall to get a decap on this F hill. You're not avoiding me, are you? They're need a full wipe here, and they can't even stay to capture as Detox goes down. Uh oh. You have to force the revive. Rise is the only one getting points, though. This is definitely looking good, but they have to survive. You see somebody kind of breaking off. That is going to be cracked going towards the neutral. Uh -oh. It's about five seconds. Five seconds is all that's really there once the hill does get captured. Uh -oh. The Vex is just trying to go ahead and at least contest it. He knows the flank is there. They're going to have an opportunity uh -oh. to get a break. That is going to be icy, but the trade comes through. They get the break just in the nick of time, though. Rise is climbing back. They uh -oh. get another down onto Demon. The players are getting stuffed. Rushies is backing up. They know a decap is not enough for Rebel. They need a capture as well. But Rushies tries to force it. He gets taken down. Detox is going to fall. And just by the hair, a short inch rebel escape with a round victory and go on map point. Just by a hair, the thinnest of margins. It got scary there. And you know what? I thought when uh, they cleaned up that kill on Icy, that Identus was going to be able to find a hill on F. But Rushies came off that respawn quickly to shut that whole play down. And it put Rise in a good spot to, to be able to you know, make possibly make that comeback in the end. They were, it was almost there, but in the end, it's Rise having to win two. They want the series lead for taking this map. Shocks are going to be blocked. I like that. Go for the comeback block. So you'll have those shocks in that final round. Still, no center line power weapons. We just got the incendiary grenades on the map to work with. 
defensives really turning this game around yeah, in a situation in a situation that he should have lost. That was a rise round, and Identive single-handedly snatches it away, which puts Rebel on map point. And I said it: this is the map in order for Rebel to win the series that they have to take. And Demon starts the round off hot. Identive gets taken down, so that is going to be a trade in players. They're split up yet again. Rebel just needs to attack onto one side, and they don't go fast enough. Rushies and Avexies, they live to tell the tale. They get that neutral. Summons breaks free, though. He's disrupting the home hill. And this is massive oh. because that makes it to where the players now have to waste time to recapture it. It cannot continue to go oh. forward, but Avexis does. He has his eyes set on that triple cap domination. It's going to come down to Demon. He's trading oh. off the shots. He gets down from downtown. That is going to be a cross. Can they get the reset? They are going to be able oh. to get in, but a double down comes through from Avexis. They hold on to those eliminations. And this should be a round for Rise. And we are going going to a round number nine. Yeah. This is what we live for. The round nines and escalation. Round 11s and execution in those nail biter controls that come down to those final 50 points. Effectsies, 24K damage, 16, 16, and 18. And then map number one, he dropped 20K. I just want to throw that out there. So consistently throughout the <laughs> night he has not been missing his shots trying to get this done for his team but this final round oh oh my goodness oh i haven't okay. really even seen a frag grenade or a weapon I like in general that. placed out there in a long time the m bar is kind of standard hey, but it goes to show if you kind of sneak through train. it can happen i ain't gonna lie i thought they put incense down i was like man we gotta reset <laughs> this for nine rounds i was like we gotta reset the map <laughs> They put instance down. Oh, we got to do this again. That's what that's where my side was. I just wanted to give context on it. But we're off to the races here. 2v2 fight top E. Big kill for Identives. The second, not going to come through. Detox gets taken uh -oh. out. Well, he actually doesn't get taken out. He lives. Rise wins the fight. It's up to player A to make a play. Yep. I see kind of spotting him out. They're not rushing this. They're not forcing it. And this is the situation where it's going to become dangerous. Summon's just trying to stay alive. He's not trying to give up an easy death here towards Rise. Detox, he gets the decap, overstays his welcome. He's going to fall. Embar being picked up by Rushy. So even though things are falling left and right, everything is looking good and looking all right for Rise. They get oh, a headshot. Rushy's going to nail oh, that one. Well, he Almost it. lands that shot onto Identives, who could turn the ties. We've seen him do it once, but he's getting crossed out this time. No second chances for you. It's looking like Rise is going to secure the triple cap domination and the round number nine victory and taking the escalation map number three to go up two to one in the series what a fantastic performance by rise there in those final few rounds um it, it really came down to you know round number eight the initials they they were able to come out they won those and that was a true oh, that was a quick domination and then the final round once again they won that team fight but this time around they had the power weapons to work with they stayed aggressive they didn't let Rebel feel confident and build back up their confidence in that round number nine. Rise said, you know what? Let's end it. Let's take the series lead. Yep. So you saw, honestly, uh, there's this overall just switch up of strategy. Even though you had the frag grenades and the M bar down low, everybody played towards the top side of the map. And even those two players that were playing down low had a little bit of a different strategy. You saw Icy go for those frag grenades or the M bar, I should say, towards the middle of the map to still kind of throw the in shot grenade or mm -hmm. flash grenade towards the top side. But it was summons this time. He almost went directly to try to pick up those incense. And, and, and I think right there for Rebel, where you were kind of always one step ahead, there was really no reason to kind of switch up that round. Yeah. You switch it up, you gave Rise an opportunity to come back into the match, and you give Rise an inch, they will take it a mile. They most definitely will take a mile, all right? And, you know, as they were making this comeback, you just saw them play a little bit more aggressive. They, they took some they took some risks that, that paid dividends Ooh. for them as well, but they did everything in which they needed to to come out on top, and... So, you know, Rise, when it comes down towards, you know, I will say the Escalation map pool, all three maps, they're super talented on. You've got to be scared if you play them on anything. Now, we're about to head on over towards Regis to control as Rise has this lead. Jacob, how good would you say Rise is on, the, is on that map and game type? 
I, I think they're a really solid team right there. They have it down packed uh, when they want to lance their players out, when they want to kind of backtrack in their steps, but they also know how to flip that switch and get aggressive, stagger out these deaths, and always stay one step ahead. But honestly, after that reactor control, I, I think they might just be still warming up in terms of how they want to play the first initial couple of hills. But on Regency, I, I think that's where they're going to find themselves. A more a map they're more comfortable on so for Rebel, winning these next two straight maps to take the overall series, not just to force the game five, but to take the game five as well. It's gonna be a big mountain to climb. A big mountain to climb indeed. Right, they're one map away from, you know, officially ending this season with the number one seed. Something that they probably didn't expect coming into this one with the amount of time that they let us all know that they have not practiced in off season. But they also <laughs> showed us that, you know, what's practice, right? What is practice is practice, right? This comes down to how you perform on game day. And even so, they're still one of the most well-practiced well -practiced teams that we have in our league, okay? Even if they took some time off, they took a break, I still think a lot of teams don't even have the same preparation that this Rise roster has. I mean, they're probably just thinking like this, Blaze, right? They, they started the season off almost undefeated up until that Noble matchup. And if we don't practice, we can't pick up any bad habits. So I, I, I'm just hoping that's what Rise is thinking of <laughs> in this situation of not practicing. Hey, as long as we don't practice, the last thing we remember, our muscle memory is just that championship style, that big aggression style of play. And as long as teams don't catch on, as long as they don't find an answer, that's not going to harm them too much. But if they run into a team like the Pioneers and Rise isn't playing up to their par, we've seen what can happen. So I don't want to jinx it just yet. I don't want to say, hey, go start scrimming if it's not kind of hurting you just yet and it is working out for you but at the end of the day towards the major I, I just hope that's not an excuse there's too much money on the line for these players to say hey i didn't practice it to be a good enough excuse yeah that would never fly i think in any of our books as a, as a good enough excuse that you know you just you didn't get enough practice in right <laughs> uh you know granted it's one thing uh, of not getting enough and the reasons that we need to get enough you know because you know sometimes you know you True. call up the teammate you say hey can you get on a scrim he's like nah i got work can you get on a scrim? Uh, me and a girl going out. Can you get on a scrim? Uh, I got an Xbox Live. Like, what? You know, sometimes you got teammates that make all the excuses in the world, right? I've heard so, that excuse. You know, that I it could be hard to get out. the team on some time to play. But when you can, it's about making uh, practice, you know, the perfect practice. So, and I think Ryze has had a lot of that. Honestly, outside of the two new maps that we added to the cycle of a fear and ritual, the, the, the other, what, 10 maps that we have, I think it's more than that. They, they are okay mm. on. They are okay yeah. if not on um, one of the best teams on those maps. You just ban away those two maps that you're talking about almost instantly. And then you have to never worry about scrimming ever again. <laughs> and for Rise, that, that, that could be the key to success because we know uh, when, when Franchise was on that squad, we know how he feels about practice. He's making sure they get some reps under their belt. And even though they were still a top team, it's just not the showing that we expected week after week. So maybe no practice is the name of the game. So if you guys are out there learning... How to get good at Gears of War. Don't practice. Unless, unless I don't know. Unless you're me. I need, <laughs> I need all the practice I can get, bro. I, I yeah. cast these matches. I, I, can't. I go and play right after. I'm wall bouncing around, missing shots. I'm like, damn, they really made that look easy, didn't they? Yeah, I need all the practice I can get. Muscle memory is the name of the game for mm -hmm. Gears. So we're about to be heading to Regency Control soon, folks. We're just getting all the players uh, in their right positions. And we'll be getting this one started up. But a great series so far, and I hope you all are having a fantastic time hanging out with us here during the Pro League. Uh, this is our final day, uh, and then after this, we're going to be heading on over towards the Major, but we do got E-Days tomorrow. Is E-Days tomorrow the championship? Yep. It, it's the finals. It's the finals. Yep, okay. So you don't want to miss out on E-Days tomorrow, okay? Because that's going to be um, the championship in the finals. And as you guys know, E-Days had a new format coming into the season. Um, based off the amount of wins you get, you got points. And at the end of the season, we got to play off with some more money um, out there for the players. And I think it's winner takes all also, which yep. is what we love about E-Days. You can't come in and expect to get rewarded for getting second place, all right? No, no participation well, trophies here. None. Winner takes all. So I'm excited to see that. E days bracket and see all that action coming up tomorrow. Um, me, you, and Taylor will be casting that one. So yep. make sure you guys come through. And then from there, uh, we won't have much Gears Esports action until we get a little bit closer towards the major. That'll be the next time in which 
Um, you'll see our teams battling it out. And from what I know, too, as well, we're leaving the Swiss play format. We're going back to pool play. Yep, yep, yep. And you, we're taking that break, though, for Thanksgiving. So even even though we might not be streaming some Gears Pro matches, I, I definitely do want to see what these people are eating out there. We, the turkey, what kind of sides a lot of people got grubbing up. If you guys have any traditions that might be different from the normal, definitely, definitely kind of show us. Tweet at me, tweet at Blaze. Our ads are kind of like right below. We do want to get involved yep. just because the action isn't on right in front of us. There's some Thanksgiving sports out there. There's definitely going to be a lot for us to do. But for some of these teams, hopefully they don't take too much of a break. Hopefully they don't go into any kind of food comas because they're going to have to get right back into it on Friday. They might miss on any back Friday sales because they have thousands of dollars in that major to kind of fight for at the end of the day. And for some of these teams, man, that last second practice has been proven to be successful at, towards that mm -hmm. major. Once these teams kind of pick it up towards the tail end, something that we don't see during pro league gets used during those majors. And it really makes the difference. Yeah, it does make the difference when it's all said and done. It, it, it truly does. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you one thing, man, when it comes down to food comas, I'm definitely going to have one during the holiday. Okay. I don't know about you chat. As we get this matchup on the way, let me know for the holidays, whatever holiday you're celebrating, your family gets together, they cook. What dish are you going for? What do you want on that table? Is it the dressing, the mac and cheese, the ham, the turkey? Is it the, the green bean casserole? Okay. Is it the broccoli casserole? No judgment. All right. I better see pictures from you, Blaze. I know you're a chef. I better see some pictures. I don't know. Do you have a pre-Thanksgiving stream you can kind of give us? Yo, we should Maybe do a, you can make it, do a squad some, giving. Some sort of, uh, yeah, some sort of uh, dessert you can kind of cook up for Thanksgiving the night mm. before. Yo, Maybe some Blaze tradition, a yearly thing before every single holiday or something. Maybe, maybe. You know what? I'll tell you one thing. Um, I, 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 need, I need to do that. And uh, But, you know, for me, for sweets, sweet potato pie, my guy. Sweet potato Ooh, never pie. Had, never had it. Oh, what? I'm, I'm an apple pie kind of guy. Sometimes I straight a pumpkin just because my family has it. Never had sweet potato. Never had sweet potato. Have you had a pumpkin? No. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's that's kind of like the similar to my, my apple similar. pie. Sim but similar. But not okay. the same. It ain't no yams, all right? It ain't no yams, okay? <laughs> it ain't no candy yams. You get some marshmallows on top of that sweet potato pie, some brown sugar, you bake it. Mm. Oh, my God, it's so good, all right? Mm, that's, that's Chad, sound, I'm sorry for making you hungry, okay? But these players are making us hungry, too, all right? As they're time torching us, and we're getting them ready for, for map number four. Uh, you know, me and Jacob, we're reminiscing on the holiday, uh, you know, on the holiday festives mm. coming up. And I will say this, that, uh, you know, me and UMG recorded a, a holiday cooking video for you guys at home Ooh. that, uh, you be on the lookout for when you're going to see it. I'm pretty sure it'll most likely be during the major because you're not going to see it today or tomorrow. So, uh, it'd be, it'd be great. You know, okay. um, I'm not, I'm not going to tell y'all what we made, you know, some of y'all may know, but you, you guys will see it when we make it. And it was me and Taylor, um, me and Taylor cooking it. He had, excuse me, he had to copy everything in which I did, and he made it for himself over there on his oh, side. No. So both dishes oh, no. came out looking different. Oh, I was about to say, I thought you were going to say looking good. No, looking okay. different is literally yeah. exactly <laughs> what I expect. I can't wait to see that one unfold. Seeing the reflections into the kitchen, man. I think that's just going to give United just a little bit more ammo to use against them. <laughs> it may be. <laughs> if they're tuning into that stream, they're going to have everything in which they need to, to ever combat against reflections on Twitter. All right. So uh, <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see it. We're almost uh, ready to get this next map yep. started here soon, folks. Don't worry. Uh, it'll be underway. But I was looking at you guys in the chat to see if I uh, uh, you know, saw some of your, your favorite dishes out there. Actually, nobody, y'all don't like eating. Y'all ain't got no favorites. You know what? Don't worry about that. I know y'all like, I know where y'all like eating, right? Y'all like that Gears action. Y'all like the mm -hmm. content, okay? So we'll feed you with that. Don't worry about it. That's what we're here for. And uh, we got a nice dish coming up here soon. It's Regency Control, Rise versus Rebel. And as we head into this map number four, the question is, is that, is Rebel going to fold and Rise take this series and officially yep. lock in that first place of the league? Or will Rebel fight back and get us to that map number five on checkout? I kind of said, going in this matchup for Rise, it, it's a story of revenge of sorts, you know? And revenge is a dish best served cold. They had a monster of a matchup against the Pioneers. And I say monster, and, and it wasn't yeah. even good for them. That was a nightmare that they're probably still reliving until this moment. 
they have to prove in the last week of the Pro League, the last day, their last matchup at that, that it was just a fluke. Not only is that going to kind of put everybody on notice throughout Gears Esports, that is going to boost their confidence because like you talked about, there is going to be a, a little bit of a couple weeks without any Pro League matches, without anything for these players to kind of focus on in terms of that main tournament style practice. So these are these last moments today and tomorrow are, is all that they have. So rise these are these big moments before it end because if they go ahead and lose this series overall against rebel you got to go ahead and wonder what that does to their mindset i talked about some of these players they're very very negative players at times they get down on themselves that is our worst big enemy is themselves in some of these matchups and, and, and when, it, when you are your worst enemy like that, sometimes it sucks because it, you just want to be your best right exactly and the thing is when it comes down to esports Unless you like, you know, have a, a good, maybe a, a mentor or, you know, someone to help teach you the game outside of that, you know, you get your, you get yourself better. Either you got it when you pick up the sticks or you grind to get better. Mm -hmm. And when you grind to get better, you know, you're putting everything in what you do under a microscope and you're a little bit hard on yourself because you know that, Hey, you know, every, not everybody wants to see you win. Okay. Not everybody I wants know. to see you get a check. A lot of them are fighting for that same check as well. So you got to figure out a way. How can I get a leg up? How can I be better? How can I get just a little bit more training? And sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, you, ha you have to be your own worst critic um, in order to just kind of find those advancements. But you can't take it too far. You know, so you can't control everything. And in those moments, you got to just let it slide and, and just get ready for the next fight, no matter where that fight's going to be. And this mm -hmm. is uh, one of those moments right there when you kind of load in. Somebody lags out. It's another opportunity to kind of stay composed, prepare yeah. for this matchup. Talk about that opening strategy yet again. We see so many strategies throughout this map. Regency on control. Teams favoring that M bar, sending a couple players up top and then rounding out for the hill. Heavy control over the hill early on with the shot grenade, trying to get it as fast as you can towards the bottom half of the map. And then even splits, two, two splits going down. So for both of these teams, being on the same page and staying focused through and through is going to be important. But we got mirror strategies, three inside, or three outside with one player additional on each team kind of running through the inside. Wow. It summons with a double kill to get this one kicked off. The revive is going to be there for Identives and Rebel with control over P1. A Vex, he's cutting back. Another quick 180, just trying to get the fight in which he needs to get, take a kill to the grave. In the end, it is Rebel picking up frags, but it will be Rushies with an in bar in hand, as well as Rise having spawns for next. But still a lot of time on his heel, but at least they get to approach it from the side they want. They got him down, forcing a couple of those players in from Rebel. Weren't able to capitalize on any eliminations, though. It's actually Rebel who are capitalized. Demon with a frag grenade kill. Identus found one on a Vex. He's trying to be sneaky in towards the center of the map. And this is where Rise, they have to stop the bleeding here, which is why you see them retreating with over 30 seconds left. They're trying to go ahead and backtrack in towards the spawn to get towards this next hill. And they're going to need a big hill time on this next hill, or they suffer going down over 100 points to rebel oh they don't want that to happen 50 to 1 you can survive that especially with the rotation that they had early they also kept four in bar shots in the hands of rushies i see that's an annoying spot for him that little angle he stays crouched he can stay there get a lot of damage hit on any player that crosses him as they cross into the sight lines of, of detox and of vex he's locking down the hill now as well as rushies as they've all dropped back but with an official change coming through, Summons tried to start a fight. More importantly, he's isolating that player off on the right end. Big shot there from Rush. He's detox wins his battle. And as the heal just, sw just swapped, Rebel needs to slow down. Summons gets taken down. So it's just going to buy them just a, just a couple more time left on a couple of these hills here. See the attack finally coming through towards the spawn. That's going to be a connection onto one. A big shot landed onto Identives. Two quick downs, making Rebel's job that much harder. Melee coming out from IEC. Stack up three. Three are going to fall as well. Summons, he was kind of staggered out early on, like I said. So that made it to where he had to wait for his teammate to go. So now that all four are up, they're trying to make a second dash towards the spawn. Identives going down first. Revives back up into it. No eliminations being cleaned up just yet. But Identives is trying to do what he can, staying alive. Vexies gets that M bar. Rushies goes down, so they should find a way to stay alive here. 45 seconds is going to be the name for Rise as they got a hold of all that time onto this hill. You see them rotating off. So even though Rebel 
is the one continuing to build upon that lead. It's only a few short seconds before they're forced to rotate off. Rise got it done. Um, and what that was was getting 44 points off that hill. That was, you know, pretty much the majority out of all of it that was acquired. And they as well got that same rotation for next. This time around, it's going to be four in-bar shots for Vexies as he connects with one. Misses the second, but still a 3v3. As Rushies, he cannot get too aggressive on that player that ran away. He's going to have to just slow down, wait for the rest of the help from his teammates. Detox have a flank from the other end of the map. And those shots got this player moving frantically as the Vexies hits a great shot. Great two shots at that. Now he's looking to move in and get himself a quad kill as he's going to have some help from Rushies. There's the cleanup, and Rise will collect. Rise doing good. Coming back again into this one as Detox. Zero, four, and three does have some assists. You can see the damage second on the team overall, but unable to net an elimination, which isn't too much of a worry just yet. Once the scoreline gets out of control with kind of Rebel on top, that's when you get worried and question, but he's playing a lot of support roles. He's playing that flex for his team. Flash grenade going out. The damage on that first character is going to be enough. Second one's going to make Rushy's job that much easier. And the last two members are split up here. I see in a 1v1 against Identives. Identives make short work, and he gets the spawn point towards the top, which is going to be big, but I would say that would have been big, but a split spawn already coming through, so a successful opportunity going down the drain is now they're going to play for next. Oh, Identives is taken out, but Crack with the down. He's going to have some help as well from Summons. Rebel get it set up on a statue, but they need to finish off on these. They need to finish off these the rest of these rise members right now, as they're looking to take down the Vexies. He's not going to be able to take one to the grave. It's still ten seconds left on old for Rise to be able to spawn up, get together. He just grabbed new frag grenades as well, or the new frags just spawned up. He'll be behind Rushies. He'll see them soon. Actually, the whole entire team sees them. Summons. Five shots in his in bar, Jacob. Now he's going to have to get some of these kills. Yeah. Opportunity to go big as well after two good hill holds for Rise that kind of got him the lead here, but that lead is being dwindled down. Shot grenades going out, forcing the rotation out of summons. Rushy's grabbing those frag grenades as well. Summons, he forgot he got shocked off there for a moment. He has to travel through and he goes down. Frag grenades from Rushy's now trying to pick up those eliminations. He's only able to get one, but that is going to be a big elimination. Mikat was on to Summons, who had the M bar, but Rise losing more than just Rushy's. They lost Detox as well. IC trying to make up for it, getting elimination of his own, contesting the hill simultaneously, but he's not there to get the distraction onto Identives, who helped get that elimination onto a Vexies. He's going to fall. Ball. But I think the damage has been done. Three players versus two. Not That's yet. the name of the game. As long as they can utilize the numbers. If they can, I think Rise has got fortified with Detox joining this party. They'll have the numbers in their favor as they just got to get the rest of the scrap time here. A statue is 30 seconds remaining as we move towards Fountains. It is two players fighting for 1v1 on the control. And a Vexies wins it. Rise gets spawns for Fountain. The rotation coming through, even though they got the spawn for the fountain, just a few short seconds left onto that hill. Everybody's gonna kind of make their way towards the outside here, depending on if you large the left, go towards the right. Everybody's trying to funnel in towards the middle. Flank coming through from Detox. Not gonna be able to stay alive. Two team downs coming through, but it's only going to be Rebel who get that revive. And they set their eyes onto Rushus, who's gonna be the Lone Ranger for now. He tries to up a sneaky elimination. He falls, which opens up the door for Rebel and their full control. And honestly, they need about 43 seconds here before they tie the game up. They're going to have an opportunity at more than that. New Embar just being picked up by Icy. Rise, even though they um, had the spawns for next, them losing that team fight, they got to get in and retake now. Luckily for them, they got some time to work with. A little 30 point cushion. Oh, big shot from Icy. That's going to allow his team to be able to push in and just use their numbers, pistols, and shotties to win this battle. And that's exactly what they do. 48 points remaining in a hill. Price has the spawns, the power weapons. They're just gotta, they got to wait, get set up for this next uh, assault coming out from Rebel. Okay, he's not getting greedy just yet. He's not forcing any of these shots to come through because it's... Bullets in that M bar are going to be so valuable if you can at least hit that body shot at the right time, kind of break through. Crack gets those frag grenades, but Rebel's going to back out. They want to play for next onto this hill to try to take down this lead, which is so important here. Frag grenades are going to be a massive tool for success of this roster as 
Rise is definitely going to send three players, whether it's going to be towards the top side or towards the bottom side of the spawn, which already is leaning towards the top side. Those will stagger these players out. Those will cause separation and a chaotic play for Rebel to try to take advantage from, but they're just buying some time. A connection from downtown. I see catching Demon slipping. That's going to allow them to press forward almost free, and that's going to be up to crack. That's going to put the pressure on him even more to use those grenades to perfection. Ooh, another another kill for I see. The position in which he got that first headshot was so smart. Just because, like, the distance, you're not going to be able to hear that person rev up the, the M bar, right? And he was just accurate. He had a good shot on Demon to create this opportunity for his team. Oh, <laughs> out the door. Crack stays Got alive. Four. No points coming out here for Rise. Look at the bodies, the carnage, all the limbs in front of him. That was a great initial. That was a great attempt from Rise, but even better hold here from Crack. But one more coming through. He has the nades, and it looks good for him once again as he comes away wow. with three more. Seven straight kills in a row. Seven straight. He, he could be on a bigger spree, but I know he, he got that initial four squad, two back-to-back -back doubles. He just got that triple there. He's going for another one along with the help of identives. And honestly, you can count that up for eight, but let's just continue with seven as he continues to stay on a hot streak as Rebel is looking to come back into this game from over a 50-point lead for Rise. They're narrowing it down to 15 here as this hill is going to be reset. An opportunity for numbers to be taken advantage, but a shock grenade to create separation. I'd rather Rather that shot grenade come out now though, Blaze, so they can't use it later in the game as Summit. He takes out Detox, making it a lot easier for them to bull rush through. Demon has the frag grenades. Rushies is being threatened towards the back line. Him and Icy get separated. Icy gets dropped. Crack oh. finally gets taken down. His streak will fall, but not Rebels as they continue to hold their ground. But I might have spoke too soon and cursed him as Vexies breaks through. He's going to be the last man standing there for Rise. Man, that's big plays coming out from Avexis. Uh, we It was just a great team fight to watch overall, but Rise, they are the ones who are collecting on the time at the neutral hill. Also, Rushy's being back here, he got players running the opposite direction of the hill in a late game. That's great positioning. That's what I always talk about when I say Rushy's is an annoying player. Being in spots like that, forcing two players a rebel to have to make difficult decisions. Do we go for the hill? We need to play as a team. What's the game plan? We need to clean him up first. It just makes things chaotic. 40 points left on his heel. Detox hit a good shot, but he's taken out. Demon will be able to clean him up. But Vexy finds a kill as well. 3v3 and Rise is rotated for the next. I do think they're going to kind of beat them to the punch in terms of getting the actual hill location at the top. But it's going to be Summons who kind of anchors himself in towards the spawn. Great flash grenade at the nick of time to get a Vexy's the miss roll. Rushies go ahead and gets that trade though, which is going to be important. And just go ahead and narrowing that deep spawn and that control is absolutely crucial. Identives gets that elimination. M the M bar. Cracks just trying to stay alive. Almost gets the oh. up A. Identives connect with one. Crack finishes that one off. Goes for another one, but that's going to be a missed connection. Rushies is getting threatened though. Reinforcements are on the way. Summons goes down for a quick second. Uh -oh. Revive is there, but that stagger was just enough for them to get control of the backside. All Summons has to do is survive here. A down coming through. A great flash oh. grenade to deny the revive from Demon as Rise once again gets control. Man, and Avexi's had such composure there, dodging that shock to his right and just soaking up those shots and just trade them back out. Rise, they, they're holding this heel, but Rushies is on a flank. He's behind Summons. Summons doesn't know he's here. He'll be able to clean up this kill, and Rise will continue to hold this setup. 40 points it left in his heel. Rise can't win off of this, but I will say, this is a close, like, this is a close, it's close here in a late game. Like, yeah. this is still very, very winnable for Rebel. They're only down about 40 or so points, and they do have to contest it. They have to contest every single heal, but after this fight, somebody needs to rotate to next, and it's going to be the first person that dies, a.k.a. Identus. About staggering out. This is big time for Rebel if they can kind of net this as a success. Only down so far from Rise. No elimination being picked up. It's actually Rushies who's going to fall, and that elimination is definitely going to be picked up, or at least for now. You got to think so. Him, Icy, Detox, three players will fall. They're going to go ahead and bleed this hill dry for Rebel, but those eliminations, I was about to say for a moment, depending on where the spawn could come from, it would be a blessing in disguise, and honestly, it, it actually is. You see three players rotating towards the bottom. They're going to be there first on the actual hill, but the spawn point does go over to Rebel. And Identus knows that he does not want to go into the actual hill. 
he wants to hold from up top. That way, him and the squad can work together and um, be able to shoot down on on all the Rise members. So, I think Rise kind of knows this. They're like, okay, well, we got this for free. We know where Rebels set up. Just stay tight. Get the Lancers out. They know how they want to defend this. And with Rise having a lead, they know that Rebels going to have to desperately force their way down into them soon. Great flash. The shot comes out. It's going to down one member. But Crack has to make some big connections here with the M-Bar. Able to get one body shot. That gets the down on the Vexies, but Crack needs to stay alive. Rise focusing on him, making sure that he cannot come down into this hill for free as Rise now within 50 from victory. I thought that should have hit. Yeah, it definitely looked like he could have connected, or at least the opportunity was there as Rushy's with a flash. He misses his own opportunity to try to back off, so the war will continue. A couple of downs, but no eliminations just yet. That's Identives. He's going to be the first one to fall. Comes out of trade, though. I see an Avexis. Rushy's three players go oh. down. Crack's going to get taken out as well. So the last one standing is going to be Detox, but look at that beautiful, sweet, sweet spawn that goes over to Rebel. They got to be quick, and they were quick. Detox is going to try to get out, play his life. He's making sure that Rebel can't get too many points in here because even if he comes off the respawn, he'll get spawns for next that statue. He might even spawn across map towards Info. Crack finds a kill here towards the middle, and Rebel, they need to start making a rotation as well so it can be a 50 50 fight for the M bar and the next hill. And it will be. Someone, yep. Looking at a lot of time on the frags. Which someone got names. Must have, but so, yeah, yeah, must have just picked those up. Trying to look right now. I'm not nobody rag. from Rebel. I did Rushies. Oof. And Icy has that shot grenade. Yep, Rushies with the frag. Icy's with the shot grenade. Twenty eight seconds for Rise. And the thing is, Rebel needs two big team fight victories. One for this next hill. One to hold on to it, and then possibly a third as well if they don't get enough time. But Rise just needs one big team fight victory, and they should get it. Depending on when this hill pops, Rushies gets a frag over the top oh. to take out Crack. A big back A down from Rushies as well. He gets back to back eliminations. The hill time is going to be towards Rebel. Summons, summons. Oh, oh not again! This is not what you want if you're a fan of Rebel. It's not. But when it happens, it's, it's kind of like, it's a dub if you ask me. Oh! I, I, I like hey. it, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Because, like, that's the thing is, like, that down that Demon got, that, that Rushy's got on Demon, we don't know how long Summons was out the fight for. Exactly. We don't know. Mm, mm, mm. The match okay. is close, man. You don't want to. You don't want to leave it down to something like that. You don't, you don't want to just let it go down to one player lagging out, and they could have had a huge impactful play, like you said. You don't know how long he was kind of just waiting around, trying to get a flank, and you got to give it up to Rise. They could have had this game in the bag, which would have gave them the overall series victory, would have gave them first place, thousands of dollars, and a confidence boost. But they don't want a confidence boost that way. They don't want to just win. They want to assert themselves and impose their dominance on all their opponents. And I will say, since it was a center line hill in which they kind of lagged out on, um, we'll see if they, they rotate it or we just go towards the next center line hill. Regardless, it is Rise who needs 22 points till victory, 58 on the side of Rebel. Whew, what a close game this has been so far. I hope you guys have been enjoying it at home. When we get updates, we'll give you guys updates as well. But, you know, so far, when it comes down to, uh, you know, both these teams in this map, you know, we've seen Rushies, um, you know, have some big inf impactful plays, but also too crack man for Rebel. My God, yo, this map has, has been um, good for him. Multiple multi kills as well as Identus too. Identus has been playing very fast. He's been aggressive, um, been been asserting his 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 self around the map, taking positioning, and um, I like seeing that from Identus because that shows me that he has that confidence that he is, you know, the, one of the best players in the world. And at one point, he was regarded as so. So with that being said, he knows how it feels. And, uh, you know, he it seems like he's getting more and more comfortable with this team. Yeah, he definitely is. You can kind of give uh, Rushies on the other side of things. He's been having some performances lately that aren't necessarily some of the best. They wouldn't go down in his history books by any means. But I think today, today is a great wake-up call for, for people in general to... Rushy's putting him on notice that he is definitely still a threat. He's definitely somebody that you have to worry about. And he's definitely, when you look at Harbor as a map that Rebel, or not Rebel, but Rise are going to lean on. He's that tip of the sphere style player. When Franchise is on this roster, on that exact map, I too wanted to kind of see him in that 
despite being that player that you know him could be to cause the chaos to pick up those big eliminations. So already you're seeing some adjustments being made, and you're seeing it affect him positively. And that's not that's something that you, you, that can go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. It's not only enough that you you kind of get your position. It's not only enough picking up the eliminations, but when you get the trust from your teammates, you get that confidence boost. And that's something that I think just doesn't go unsaid. Yeah, shouldn't man, it, it, it shouldn't at all, okay? Um, I will say that when it comes down towards the squad and, you know, making sure that you're giving your teammates some some encouragement, it is super important. Every kill, you know, good job, good stuff. You know, you want to, you want your teammates to believe that the team believes in you, you know? You want the yep. team to believe in them. So um, it definitely goes a long way when you have that camaraderie across the squad and you guys can go far when you do have it. So uh, I think I think everyone in this lobby has that too as well. Uh, yeah, they no, they, they they definitely got it, man. You think about all the, the the matches in which they played, how you know the big stages, the the pressure, the money on the line, and win or lose, you know, you become real close to somebody going through that. All right, so still waiting for summons to get back, and when he does, we'll get this one finished up. Rather, if we're going to map five, or if this will be finished up here in four. We don't know just yet, but we will be finding that one out soon. You just joined? Oh, I mean, oh. It is going to be sooner rather than later. Okay. This is where I feel like it's not going to necessarily be super interesting, but with 21 seconds to 58, that's not too much of a, of a big scoreline for either one of these players. That's, that's one big team fight that you can win, and then maybe a hold afterwards, depending on if you're Rebel or Rise. So... This is definitely winnable for each one of these rosters. So a mindset refresh, as long as Rebel can stay into it, not get too down on themselves that someone like you out know, could be the difference maker here in that one. And for Ride, yeah. just stay in focus with your eyes on the prize. 21 seconds. That's not a lot at all. Like I said, a big team fight. Even then, eliminating a couple of players and forcing them out could be enough as this one is going to come down to a reset. So one big initial strategy. One big opportunity for both these teams. Yeah, and that's smart too as well. I just want to say a Vexies, tw 25,000 again for Vexies so far. Three maps in a row has it been? He's dropped a 20k bomb. Man, at least in all the respawn game modes for <laughs> sure. We can go back and check the tape for uh, execution, but here we go. Okay. Mm. Answer going out. Great initial shots there coming out from Rushies, but Rise as they're starting to move in. Trying to get these kills towards the back here. Crack. He's trying to pinch from the center, but it is Rise who will get three down. And now they're going to get the fourth. They just needed 21 points. Yep. Now it's going to be a mad dash. Desperation push to come through for Rebel. Timing is definitely not on their side. 22 total seconds. Now it's less than 10 here. They try to get one angle. Shock grenades block off that whole front door entrance. It's up to those players on the side, and they're being denied entry, and there you have it, Rise are going to take the game overall away from Rebel, which is going to take the series 3-1. to one. All right. Congrats to Rise for coming out on top there. 3-1 to one in this series. It was a little uh, anticlimactic finish with the lag out, but ultimately it was a fantastic performance from Rise and uh, a, a team effort across the board. And I and I gotta give them credit one more time. Avexis, twenty thousand in map number one, twenty five thousand in map number three, twenty five thousand in map number four. Okay, so he helped his squad get it done there in the response. Never stop shooting. Always being a nuisance. Always applying pressure to his opponent, and mm. that pressure was a big reason in which, um, you know, Rise came out on top today. So shout out to our yeah. player to watch. And I said it, man, in that map number three, the escalation. When you're playing against Rise in a lot of these series, escalation should be looked at as a must win. It is their weakest game mode by far. It is some of their weakest maps. And, and that's not saying too much. They're still a very, very strong team. But once you're dissecting, once you're creating that mm. game plan and a blueprint for success, you have to look at that map and game mode as a must win overall. Because control, if they catch in fire, it's going to be hard. Depending on what execution, map number two is it's definitely going to be just as hard so you're kind of hoping at that point if you do lose map number three for, for some type of miracle for some type of hope for that going to really fall on your side 
this is a great series, and I'm happy we got a chance to um, see it before the major. And, you know, back-to-back -back days, we saw Rebel versus the United, Rebel versus Rise, and, you know, a 3-0 and a 3-1 loss overall. It's not something that, that Rebel wants here towards the last portion of the league. But I will say this, that's some good footage and some good series to be a part of as we get closer towards the major. So even though they didn't, they didn't go the way you guys expected them to, you got a lot in which you can learn from it. And, you know, Rebel, they kept this close. They did. Hell, you know, yeah. It almost makes me wonder, man, just because it's like a, it's almost like a, a mirror of what happened on map number one. Rebel got off to an early start in map number one. They were slowly but surely climbing back into the game. It's very, very similar here. A great and early start for Rise. They doubled up the score line at one point or another. And a good comeback opportunity from Rebel. So unfortunately, they just weren't able to kind of pull through at the end of the day. Uh, if they win that map number three on Harbor, we're going to check out and then we're probably talking about this is Rebel's chance. They're going to take the game because I think they thrive on a map like that, but they, they just lose. They, they lose that Harbor. That's something I'm going to be kind of pinpointing at a lot of this series going into the major, even during full play of that map number three in this series against Rise. Yeah, it, like you said, once in round number nine, we said that it was going to be the one that would um, tell us the tale of the tape because we knew how talented both those squads were at that uh, at that third map. But, you know, in the end, when I saw the map cycle, I said, those three maps for Rise, boy, they just look really good. They're going to be really comfortable there. And so, in the end, that's exactly what happened. But, yeah, man, I, if Rebel goes to check out Execution, <laughs> whew, that, that, that'd be wild, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. We could talk about that uh, as we get closer towards the major when we get a chance to possibly see these two teams play again. But congratulations to Rise for coming out victorious in our first series of the day. And that's just us getting things kicked off, folks, okay? Mm -hmm. We still got two more to go. Two more exciting series at that. I know we got the Pioneers versus Pittsburgh Knights as well as uh, E United versus Noble at the end of the day. And when it comes down to the conversation of which squads do we feel like can win the major? I think all six of our teams that are playing on, uh, on our broadcast today, they definitely have a great chance at doing it. So to be able to see them play against each other this early on is, 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 a, is a treat, right? Especially going into E-Days tomorrow. It is. No, it it definitely is. is. The Pioneers are one of those teams. They really have been picking it up. They had a, a slow start, and I say slow very, very loosely because they were still dominant in those slow games, losing to two Latin American teams, I do believe. But since those two losses, man, they've been looking like that dynasty team. We've kind of been building up the storyline. They have taken some losses in Pro League, maybe a few here and there overall with the new format of E-Days, but they haven't lost an overall tournament and we probably could be four months at this stage in the game. So they're looking to keep that streak alive. Yes, they are. And Pioneers is there looking to keep that streak alive. They got to go up against the Pittsburgh Knights next. As the Pioneers, are they in dynasty form? And we saw the Pittsburgh Knights yesterday play a series that was probably too close for comfort. This one is going to tell us a lot about them. Don't go anywhere. We'll have this one right after this. <laughs> 